and I forgot to turn off the freaking sound. I'm sorry. You know what? Let's get rid of uh, media requests. I'll put the music back a little bit later. Because, yeah, we don't want to have, like, double uh, music over one uh, of and the other. So it's fine, it's fine. そこまわらなさん、よろしくお願いします。天戸さん、もう素敵なファーストのプレイ楽しみにしております。よ、麦さん、いつもありがとうございます。カルさん、頑張ってください。今日もよろしくお願いします。おお、I miss and here we go. So first round was actually went to uh, yeah went to Menhela Zikko San Zizi. So this player is actually from uh, Japan, I do believe. Oh, I didn't up oh I didn't update the I didn't update the flags. Okay, so uh, of course I'm help is from Korea. And just as I say this, a very quick first round to Menhela San, uh, who is a Japanese individual and who, as you just seen right now, rocks a very mean. Uh, a very mean goal, Lewis. Okay, here we go. We have the correct flag. Yo, Leo san! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Leo san, genki. Hi, Karu san, eto, kia wa mani amasen desh. Ah, hi, 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 hi. Daiju desh yo, Karu san. Mata, itsu demo, eto, sanka, eto, wa dai kange na no de, mo, eto, zenzen daiju desh yo. Eto, geku ni, eto, sanka shi yo to shite, te, i, eto, shite itadai te, arigato zaimashita. Arigato zaimashita. Okay, here we go, and finally, as you can see, I'm Help is finally starting to unravel the engine and gets the first kill with uh, the um, Fortissimo. So let's see if he can bring it back with this one. Goes for the Al Agitado, forcing Menhela to pop the burst, trying to zone him with the node. Very nice spacing right there from I'm Help. Almost got hit by the 6P of Menhela. Okay, he's got the corner positioning, goes for the hover. Oh, and goes straight into the freaking Fortissimo aerial one of this. Oh, goes for the grab. Okay, one more uh, mix is all that is required. Very nice use of the... Oh, Lord! And she even managed to get the dive. Almost got hit by the minigun, too. That was sick. Good stuff from I'm Help. Puts one on the board as well. Good stuff. Let's see how this pans out. Let me check the bracket real quick just to see if everybody is doing perfectly or not. Yeah, it should be fine. Everybody seems to uh, be doing fine right now. And very big 6P right there from Menhela gets the... Oh! That cheeky 6P from I'm Help the right into the offense of Menhela. He's got the... Oh, yeah, he's got the double knockdown again with the empty low. Forcing Menhela to pop the burst. Here we go, the mine is out. No more neutral for you. <laughs> yeah, you can see Menhela swinging left and right. Really wanting to get that knockdown. Gonna get it. He's gonna get a full combo, by the way. Oh, oh Lord. Look at the damage. No super was involved. The Kara Fortissimo is pretty nice. Okay, and here we go, and I'm help again with the low and unfortunate. Oh no! Not like this! Oh lord! Oh no! Man, he lost some traffic. No, okay, popping the burst. He has to do it. And he's got the kill with the mini gun. Just, yeah, making, yeah, taking advantage from I'm help, not having any tension bar to use the faultless defense to, uh, to, to. To tank through uh, the minigun onslaught. That was really well done by Manhela. Taking good note that uh, I'm Help had no um, no tension bar right there. Anyways, he takes the first round. This third match. Let's see how this pans up. Very nice A low right there from I'm Help. He's gonna get the knockdown in the corner. Carry straight into the Kara Fortissimo for the heavy knockdown. What's gonna be the mix? Ooh, I thought he was gonna go for the grab. Oh, it's not and there goes the overdrive. What? What? What the hell happened? I wasn't even aware that the stroke went underneath the super of the the the, the overdrive of a uh, of Gold Lewis. What the hell was that? I wasn't aware of this. Is that a thing? Oh, okay, here we go with the wild assault from Menhila. Well, Gold Lewis, to be more specific. So as you know, there are several types of wild assaults, and uh, the one of Gold Lewis makes it so that uh, he has invincibility while he lunges forward uh, towards you and does a uh, guard breaking move that was very well done from him he has the current life lead and as you know uh the gold Lewis has a lot of life and very cheeky 6p which in the end worked very good for men hill son got the third match yeah what i wasn't aware either exon what the hell was that i really didn't know it was actually a thing but good stuff from men hill oh uh, good stuff from um from uh, i'm help actually to um i don't think it was intentional but 
Uh, I didn't know you could do uh, this type of offense and uh, on the wake up of Gold Lewis and not get hit by the uh, by the um, by the overdrive. Yeah, that was sick, man. Really, really sick. Anyways, here we go in Manhela on the onslaught. Forces, I'm helped to pop. Oh no, I didn't know you don't. This time I'll try to evade this one, biatch. <laughs> Good stuff from Anhila. He's got the onslaught. He's got the offense. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Are you going to press the button? Very nice. That was a cur... Wow. Go doing wall. My lord. Wild assault straight through the offense. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. But yes. <laughs> no, no, no. But yes. Good stuff from Anhila. Always giving me like freaking heart attacks left and right, man. But still managing to pull over. Oh, he got the punish on the... Uh, the reverse, uh, the 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 reverse, uh, the shield reverse. How do you call this again? I forgot. Anyways, oh nice six P. He's got it. This is gonna do a lot of damage. This is gonna kill. Nice, nice, not not yet. But he's got a huge Okizeme right there. Yeah, then this should be it. Good stuff from Manhela. Dizzy takes it. Uh, Johnny today. Let me change the names. My bad, my bad. He has booty only when he plays uh Bridget. So Usui Johnny, ne? There we go. Usui Johnny. This should be. It. Okay, very good. Okay, so Usui Johnny versus Maron. Let's see how this pans out. And already with the corner carry combo, Maron goes straight into the wild assault for the wall break and the heavy knockdown. Gonna get the positive bonus. Goes for the save jump, tries to get the grab. Very nice call out right there from Usui Johnny. Gonna get a pretty nice wall carry combo. Jumps over the uh, stun dipper. Has to take the offense, but actually swings in the midst of the offense of Maron, very nice hop right there from Usui Johnny, went straight over the, um, the stunnage. Oh, oh, and oh lord, that was a very, very late Roman cancel by Usui Buri, but that paid off in the end, he didn't get uh, punished by uh, Maron at all, he's got the juggle, is he gonna be able to finish it? Oh, no, he drops it! And Maron is out of the pressure, using the DP to get out of it, let's see how this pans out. And it's back to the zoning game, and a big jump in. Oh lord, goes for the Roman Cancel to make it safe. And the triple overhead goes for the follow-up. Tab dust into the Roman Cancel for the kill. First round goes to Maron. Very nicely done. On to the second round. Oh lord, and you see Johnny just hopping just right over, jumping right over Maron. Goes for tab dust. Hits Maron with the counter hit right there. That was pretty cheeky. There we go with the air stun. And ah, very nice XP from Maron. Hits uh, Usi out of the air, but Usi finds the opening. Couldn't quite get the misfinder to hit at the end, but it's still... Well, I did get grabbed, but it's okay. It's still fine. Both have a lot of resources, a lot to manage. Usi does have the burst, can get out of uh, the pressure whenever he wants. Oh, nice Roman cancel. He gets the grab for the side switch. Goes for the save jump. Almost got the juggle, but drops it. Okay, and here we go. We got the card. If you get if you get the misfinder on the card, you get a, a guard break uh, sequence, which is a very very uh, useful for Johnny to maintain the pressure. Okay, here we go. Back to the neutral. Johnny trying to find his way in using the aerial uh, approach. Uh, unfortunately for him, he, oh lord, using the misfinder to delay his uh, his way down. Very ingenious for him and very nice tech, by the way. Oh, this time around he swings, expecting Maron to try to uh, to bait the, the the tech attempt. Nice uh, stun dip right there from Maron. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he will. That cross up was pretty sick. Not gonna lie. And here we go with the stun edge. Ooh, the big miss finder. But <laughs> French, French just came out like naturally just came out right there. And Maron should be able to seal the deal for the first match. Very nicely done by Maron. First match goes to Moron. Guys, I'm already out of breath. I need to take some... I ate very, very late today, so I'm, I'm probably going to have to get some water before this match ends, but I kind of want to see it. So, yeah. Give me a couple of seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to continue. Uh, I'll continue commentating. Okay, and here we go with the corner. Oh, my lord. That freaking brave grab from Uzi Johnny. Base the DP. Going to get a full corner carry combo. He couldn't quite get the, the wall spot, unfortunately for him. Goes for the hop. Tries to go for the overhead to, yeah, to catch Maron cat, uh, uh, tapping some, uh, pressing some buttons. Maron was pretty solid there, though. Not gonna lie, even though he got open, obviously, he was really, really solid. And here we go with the cross-up. Tried to get that card slash. 
right in the cross up to force uh, Maron to either hit him or to get him to block. And here we go with the Misfinder catching the back dash. Gonna get the Wild Assault. Couldn't quite get the freaking Wall Splat yet again. I am Johnny. <laughs> here we go with the Misfinder. Oh no, he couldn't. Con he couldn't uh, confirm. This is unfortunate for him. Here we go with the Aerial Stun Edge. Oh. Ah, c'était Subaras Kata, mon pote. Ah, mais grave. <laughs> of course, it was. <laughs> In Mr. International. <laughs> and oh, Lord. You see, Johnny caught you checking. Oh, very nice reset from Maron. Gonna get that corner positioning. Goes in. The pressure is endless. Uh oh, careful. Gotta block. Actually, the card slash did not hit Maron on the guard. It was still his turn. Bell, that was a brave ID right there from. Oh, do sound bad. Here we go with the opening from Maron. Is he gonna be able to uh, finish his fromage? Yes, he should. And he gets the wall break for the kill. Maron with the second round. Very nicely done. Yo, Omni Lash. Omni Slash, welcome to the stream. Very nice XP right there from Maron. Gonna get the oh save jump. Really wants to hit Johnny out of the air right there. Oh lord, that 6k at all. Ah, that is gonna be a wall break, obviously. No uh, burst gauge in order to get the wild assault for a guaranteed hard knockdown, unfortunately, for Usui. But still okay. It's not over till it's over. Lord Maron loves these. Uh, <laughs> wow, just front up in 6 feet. Very nice hit done by Maron. Gonna get the corner positioning. Oh, that close slash though. Oh, and no 6 speed this time around. Uncharacteristic of Maron, if I have to say. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's we'll see. Oh, nice. Here we go with the overdraft. Kaboom! My name is Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Here we go with the... Oh, no! In the second overdraft. Let's see, buddy. Doesn't give a crap. <laughs> this is my name. <laughs> Johnny, remember... Okay, good stuff from Musubu. I'm gonna get a, a glass of water, guys, because my throat is not gonna sustain. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, sorry for the wait. And that big Roman cancel from Maron. Almost got uh, jumped onto. Uh, fortunate for him, he did have the Roman. Well, the tension bar in order to make it safe. Okay, everything going fine with the bracket. Nobody asking me anything. I love it. I love it when everybody just does it perfectly without me having to give any directives. This is perfect. A uh, TO's dream. Oh lord, that was definitely that was definitely an OS from uh, from Usiburi. Catching the back dash with the Miss Finder. That was beautiful. Very nicely done by Usi Johnny. Here we go with the second round. Oh lord, yep, no six feet. Oh yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Miss Finder was a little bit too late right there to go through the stun edge. No punish on the uh Fudra Dark. Okay, back to the neutral. Johnny does have a bad uh, position right there. He is in the corner, has to Endure all of this offense. Very nice Sun Dipper right there from Maroon. Should be able to get a wall break. Okay, Johnny Usui Booty is able to get the burst before uh, having Maroon break the wall with his uh, with his body. <laughs> okay, here we go. Usui is out of the corner, unfortunately, again with the stun edge, man. And this move has been nerfed, mind you. Good stuff from Maroon. Getting the second round. Man, it's always been back and forth between these two, man. One round apiece yet again. Same as the last two matches. Let's see how this turns out. Very nice jumping right there from Usui Booty. Oh, and... Oh, Lord, that's 6p, though. And Maron with the Fudra Dark. Still his turn. Oh, get, finds the opening with the 6HS. Should be able to get the wall break. Goes with the Wild Assault this time around. Probably to save some tension bar to get more opportunities. Later on, goes for the Tab Dust. Is that going to be enough? Careful there. Oh, and that should do with the right, the lightning. Oh, it's not enough. No. No. Okay, one more hit is all that is left. All that is needed. Oh, Lord. Oh, and that empty low for the kill. Very nicely done by Marone. Gets the second match. Very convincing. Well, actually, it could work on either way, to be really, really honest. Uh, okay, let's be, uh, give me just a couple of seconds. 
Okay, there we go with the jump in by Usu. Johnny finds the opening. Goes for the Mistbiner. And no card to make it powered up though. A little bit too far to get the Mistbiner. Try to go for the aerial one in order to prevent Moron from trying to 6p him. Very nice backdashes from Moron. Huh? Just escaping this um, this lockdown game that uh, Usi Johnny is trying to impose on him by using uh, the jump in on the cards. Here we go with the stun dip. Oh, he got the burst. That was an unfortunate burst by Usi Johnny. He's gonna have to deal with it. Fortunately for Moron, well, he did have a, a little bit of burst gauge, but probably wanted to uh, keep it just in case, uh, uh, well, he lost the momentum, which is a little bit the case right now. Oh, Lord, here we go with the Sun Dipper again. Oh, Lord, you want to tap dust me? Not today, sir, because my name is Johnny. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Oh, no. Usi Johnny, not like that. That was so unfortunate. Usi, but it, uh, Johnny, yeah, exactly. She was that. I've been, I've been having a lot of problems saying Usi Johnny. I'm not gonna lie. I should just call him Usi. I think it's gonna be easier. And there you go. Yeah, Usi having a lot of problems dealing with the stun edge, as you can see right there. Oh, two HS right there in the one home. Very nice air to air by Maron. Unfortunately for him, he gets. Uh, a trade on it, couldn't quite sustain the offense. My lord, it's impossible to jump on this man, though. Yeah, you can see Johnny, you see Johnny having a lot of problem trying to initiate the um, the offense. Let's see how this spins out. Ride the lightning, not enough to kill yet again. What is Marone going to do? Probably going to try to bait. And he goes for the tab does. Of course. We are on set point. Oh, and it is, yeah, it's, it's fine, I guess. He was on... Yo's on Sen come in, yeah, it, it should be fine. But it, the name is really Kuni Let's All, huh? <laughs> Let me judge. Yes, please judge, please do. Anyways, there we go on to the first man. This is gonna be a big one, by the way, because Caffeine is one hell of a good uh, good Jackal player. So this is actually going to be a, a quite an interesting match. Let's see how this pans out. Not a very easy match for... Um, well, correct me if I'm wrong, Exxon, but not very easy match for Jackal, I believe. Because of the... Uh, because of the options that uh, Biken has. I do believe you told me once, I kind of forgot why, but uh, yeah, I do believe it's an easier match for Biken than it is for, uh, for Jacko, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong, though. Uh, that being said, for now, the health uh, lead is definitely in favor of Caffeine, who's doing a very good job of just keeping horrible for Biken. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, I probably mistook for another matchup then. Well, I can understand why it's, it's bad, because you can use... Uh, can use the um well she can go underneath the um what's it called the kabari right or something and, or and also the minions they do a good job of uh like nullifying the hiragi by just attacking her and not jackal not attacking uh, uh directly Pike i suppose but that being said yeah as you can see it is definitely in favor of caffeine it is quite uh the spank right now this is gonna be a big corner carry into the wall break See how this ends out, and Caffeine just content to just... Oh lord! Nope, nobody home! Unfortunately, the gun has been a little bit nerfed, but then again, it has been buffed for certain situations, especially. But it doesn't blow automatically this time around, if it doesn't hit the opponent, or if it doesn't hit the... Wow, that was sick! Rob, no, he couldn't quite get the... Oh, the, the finishing blow, but it's okay, he got the follow-up with the 2 HS into the Kabari, very nicely done. Was okay in this one, but this 2 made it annoying, this 3 made it horrible. Okay, okay, fair enough. Let's see how Kuni uh, manages to uh, to uh, to deal with uh, the pressure. We shall see. Oh, wow. Almost got entire red there. Okay, and here we go with uh, the jump in. Ooh! And Kuni with the bait. He's got the Escobar. Unfortunately, he gets it with the 6 HS. And due to the Kabari state, uh, Caffeine could also uh, get a follow-up. Oh, Lord. Yeah, no more minions for you, sir. Very nice for us. Right now, try to get another sweep. Oh, it didn't hit nobody. No one. Oh, I'm careful. The minions are there. The minions are there. Careful there. Oh, no. Too far, but it's still fine. It's still there. Here we go with the Escobari. Gets the jump in. Here we go with the Tatami guy. Shake. Okay, got the S. He really doesn't. Oh, Lord, the double Kabari. Caught you bag dashing. This is bad. Okay, here we go with the corner positioning. Oh, he's got the freaking bag. That's just like this. Cooney gets the 
first match. Damn, that was really, really hard for Kuni. Not going to lie, but Kuni still managed to pull through and get the first match. Very, very convincingly. Good stuff from Kuni. Let's see if Caffeine can bring some sort of adjustment. We shall see. Thing is, uh, once Biken manages to get in, Jacko's in the sauce. Yeah, it made sense. It definitely makes sense. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have that many... Um, uh, what's it called? And since, yeah, since Jack also lost the, uh, the what's called the, um, the, 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 the properties of her super, which used to be a grab and now it's actually a hit, uh, it enables uh, Baikin to also Hiragi her off uh, of her super or something. Well, she might get a better, like, um, uh, she might get a better, tr um, a better deal if she attacks her though. So yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's not better. Anyways, here we go with the corner positioning from Caffeine Man. And just applying the pressure. Gets the grab. See how this spins out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have to go. Ooh, Lord. And the tab does for the kill. But it's still okay. Kuni just needs one opportunity. He just needs one chance to get in. And then it's bye-bye, Jacko. And bye-bye, the little minions. And here we go with Jacko, man. Ooh, trying to be as slipper as possible. Nice blocks from Kuni. Uh, the little... Oh, nice stuff. Nice tatami guy. She got the Kabari. Here we go. Oh, nice blocks from Caffeine could quite get a direct punish off of it, though. Nice 6 HS. And Tyron Kuni right there. Oh, what is going to be that? Oh, boom. Nice stuff. Nice uh, snipe right there from Kuni. Unfortunately for him, he is going to get... Oh, no. That's not bad, though. It's not over. Not over till it's over. Oh, uh, Kuni really trying to... Oh, no! Unfortunately, ah... Uh, yeah, unfortunately for Kuni, Caffeine was able to low-profile the jump S attempt right there from Kuni, and this is going to be pretty hard for him, and gets grabbed in the end. This is really unfortunate. First match... Uh, well, second match, I goes to Caffeine. Very nicely done. Yeah, but Hiragi is a, a super... Yeah, Hiragi is super is bad. Yeah, I can understand. Okay, and you can see Kuni really trying to... Oh, Lord! And that air to air was huge, though. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Ah, and here we go back. Oh, nice use of the jumping S to get rid of the minions. Nice 6P. Is he going to get the conversion? No, he goes for the freaking safe uh, approach. Using the Tatami, which catches both Bagdash and jump out attempts. Wow, and Kuni reading the freaking... Oh, no, that was huge. Oh, no, not dead. How? Oh, it usually kills. Oh, no, too far. No! No, Kuni didn't believe him himself. This is so unfortunate. Very nice. Oh no, it tries to go for the 2 HS and gets the kill with the 2S. Very nicely done by... Wow, by Kuni. That was really close, though, not going to lie. Nice punish off of uh, on the 2D attempt right there from Caffeine. Goes for the Kabari and that backdash from Caffeine. No, that was like... But you are Kabari. No, Hiragi for you, sir. Oh, that backdash. No, that backdash was huge. Huge the gun, but he's got the two HS. Goes for the follow up of the Kabari, and oh, I thought he got the bait on the the on the real Roman castle, but still should be able to get the kill. Yeah, boom. Here we go with the follow up of the Hilagi uh, of the of the Kabari. I'm sorry, I keep saying Hilagi, but this is a Kabari. Good stuff, good stuff. The gun, use the gun. Okay, anyways, let's see. With the following one, gets the Kabari. Unfortunately, gets punished off. The follow-up of the Kabari tried to go for the jumping key and nice air grab right there from Kuni. Goes for the jump in, but Caffeine Man with the wake up gold burst. Gonna get that positive bonus, which is actually huge for uh well for 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 Jacko. Let's see how this spins it out. Oh lord. This is bad. And uh, while the salt to continue, the onslaught should be enough to kill. Yes, it is. And you're going to kill using the minion for extra damage. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Oh, now he was afraid of the guard point, and rightfully so. Here we go with the Yuzon Sen and the big damage in the corner. Oh, he dropped it. But it's okay, he's got the follow up Yuzon Sen. Oh, Lord, that was Shiki. That was Shiki Kuni. Good stuff. Nice. Arigato gozaimashita, Gunasan. Mata itsu demo go sanka kudasai. And here we go with the jump. And oh lord, and the block, the blocks are real from Kuni. Unfortunately, gets opened up by the oh standing HS again with the hit up sending HS caught. Just standing a wee bit too much right there. Goes for the gun, gets the hit in, and gets it again by the heavy slash. Enough for the guard. Yes, enough for the guard. Very serious. Good lord. It's gonna be the mix. Oh, gets the jump in. 
Oh, good reach from Kuni. Doesn't go. Doesn't hit the guard point there. Man, the reach though. Good thing for Kuni, Caffeine doesn't use his minion shield at all. The shield is freaking good against Baikin. I can understand. Well, he did use it a couple of times, but Kuni punished him uh, regularly on the aerial uh, shield, especially. Oh, Lord. Okay, it's okay. No more minions. Oh, no, no, not enough. I'll try to go for the grab, but Caffeine reading it, just going straight into the. Uh, backdash and punishing him accordingly. Here we go with the overdrive for the wall break. Yes, it is. Okay, what's gonna be the mix? He goes for the minions. Dominion. Nice grab from Cooney. Goes for the. Oh no, I was that. Cooney tried to go for an empty grab, but yeah, a little bit too early on it, I suppose. Oh, and the minion for the kill. And just like this, caffeine, man. We have a, a perfect uh, draw. Good thing for uh, Caffeine. They it at the worst moment. Ah, I trust Kuni's use personally. He is pretty knowledgeable on Jackal. Probably, probably, maybe not on the Mike matchup, I suppose. But, but he's actually doing pretty good against Kuni, to be fair. Eto, Mikazumi, Mata, Chosen, Staito, Moimasu, Honjitsu, Arigato, Gozaimasu, Arigato, Zaimasu, Taragna, Sainte, Demo, East, Yoroshika, Nigaiswa. Uh -huh. And here we go uh, with uh, Kuni really trying to close the gap, but it's not an easy thing. Not going to lie. Boom! Oh, oh lord! I thought he was gonna get it. Oh, and the air to air in favor of Capping gets the huge counter hit. Gonna get the corner carry. Nope. Oh, nice block from Kuni. Not uh, yeah. Oh, and he gets a no. Why Kuni? Why? 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 Why did he try to go for ground? Good lord. And let's see how this spins out. Oh, that's a big deal. Couldn't quite get the follow-up, but it's still okay. Ooh, gets a huge counter hit, and he gets a follow-up into the wall break. What is gonna be the mix? I'm, I am I, tried to read a Yellow Roman can't... Oh, oh no! Why? You could clearly see that the, the, the sword was going through the body of Caffeine, and it didn't hit him. But it's still fun, Kuni could get the killing blow. A nice bar right there from Kuni. Ooh, yeah, he was afraid of the shield yet again. A little bit too far for the jumping is, but still fine. He got what he wanted. Ah, yeah, again, reading that shield attempt, man. Man, oh, you can see, man, caffeine backdashing so much. Yeah, Kuni really trying to do his best not to get caught into the uh, the minion game, but it's not easy to be green. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the Kabari. No follow-up. Follow-up. Oh, gets the closest. Oh, he tried to go for the Oyozo. It's a little bit too far to get punished, though. Okay, just one hit is all that is required. Go for the aerial grab. The life of Caffeine handing on by a thread. A thread. A little too far, man. Oh, no, too far. But it's okay. He got rid of the minion like this, but uh, already a minion. Oh, and the jumping. And counter hit for the kill. And could battle. Haruki versus Kome Kome, two of the best of the best in Japan, Jacko versus Asuka. So yeah, Kome Kome is, pre is pretty much a contender for the best Asuka in Japan currently, together with none other than Lord Gobo, the Zato Calamity, who recently decided to probably main Asuka due to the, uh, well, uh, to the debatable nerfs that well, no, no debate. Well, I mean, Zato did get nerfed <laughs> due to the nerfs of Zato. So he does. He is uh, currently grinding uh, Asuka like a MF, and but he's not the only one because, as you can see, Kome Kome is also very, very. Oh Lord, the double super! Are you serious? I wasn't even aware this was a thing. That was sick. The double super? What the hell is that? I wasn't even aware. Good stuff from Kome Kome gets the first round. Let's see how Haruki manages uh, to uh deal with the endless pressure of this very very strong character who's been buffed by the way one of the uh one of the only characters who've been uh like completely buffed in this uh in this uh in this uh, season currently of the game so let's see how this spins out for now yeah haruki just trying to live trying not to get uh yeah drawn into the card game of kome kome Force above the burst though, and you can see Kome Kome being extremely very patient, just focused on dispatching every single minion that is thrown over at him. Goes straight for the overhead bowl into the overdrive. This should be the. Nah, it's not, it's not, yeah. This super doesn't do a lot of damage, to be fair. 
So let's see, and here we go. We are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Very nice first match from Kome Kome. Ah, takes the first uh, match very convincingly, not going to lie. And on to the second match. Here we go with the start. Kome Kome already throwing all sorts of cube in Haruki's general direction. Already trying to establish his rhythm of the game goes for the wild throw straight into the overhead. This is something that is very hard to react to, and Haruki finally out. Um, whips a lot of buttons right there, but Kome Kome, oh, not ready to punish it. Still gets a counter hit right there, straight on the standing HK. Very nice grab for Haruki, wants that wall splat so freaking much. And will eventually get it. Good stuff from Haruki. Could have potentially went for the, um, for the Illusion Driver, though a nice grab right there from Haruki gets the first round of the second match. Oh lord. And on to uh, the second round. Kome Kome draws first blood with all of them cubes. Oh nice. Oh, that was sick. Nice low right there from Kome Kome again, man. With the very, very patient. Look at this. Every single one of the minions are dispatched as with with total ease. How do you say? How does the uh, I've heard his name. How does um uh, what's his name again? Smug say with with the greatest of ease. <laughs> Dispatching all of them minions with the greatest of ease, man. That is crazy. You can see that Kumikumi Kumi is definitely knowledgeable on this matchup. Forcing how to keep up the burst. Even though he didn't have a lot of life left, I questioned this uh this decision, but it is what it is. Let's see if Haruki can manage to make a comeback. Things are looking a little bit bleak, not gonna lie. He doesn't have a burst. He doesn't have the uh, the momentum right now. And here we go with the cubes again. Ah, oh, lord, man. You cannot throw anything over at Kome Kome, man. Okay. Went for the aerial uh, earthquake. <laughs> the move that makes no sense whatsoever. At least it's not an low. So, yeah, it, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Three minions on the ground. This is exactly what Haluki wanted, but runs out of the minion gauge right at the opportune moment to bring the heat. Oh, finally! No! That was an unfortunate illusion driver, and Kome Kome definitely gonna make the best out of this situation. Uh, drops a combo, which is very uncharacteristic. Oh, and here we go with the super cube. <laughs> Super Cube, which is plus unblock. Very nice 6 speed from Kome Kome. It goes for the Wild Assault. Catch the back dash counter. It should be able to get the wall break. Goes for a Mana Replenishment instead, which is understandable. And even gets a cheeky little whip punish in the process. Everything going smooth for Kome Kome. What is Haruki gonna do? Oh lord. Kome Kome going air to air, reading that Haruki wanted to do the same. Gets the hit with the Wild Assault. Get the medium super cube for added pressure. Oh lord, Haruki popping the burst. Haruki looking a little bit, a little bit lost, not gonna lie. And here we go with the earthquake, back with the fiery cube. Electrical cube this time around, the water cube. All sorts of cubes. Here we go with electricity. You wanna eat my overhead ball too? Eat the super cube then. <laughs> Going for the tap dust into the wall flat, into the, read that book. <laughs> Into death. <laughs> Good stuff for Kome Kome, man. Good stuff on set point, not going to lie. This is pretty one sided. <laughs> oh lord. Anyways, here we go with uh, the earthquake and Kome Kome fetching. How to keep trying to jump one beat, one week too many times. In the air, gets the overhead uh, ball. Gonna get the wall break. Oh lord. And Kome Kome with the super cube. It catches the bag dash. This is so unfortunate from Haruki. Haruki would try to pop the yellow Roman cancel. Couldn't get the punish on the aerial earthquake. Oh lord. And again, Haruki, man, dispatching all of them pesky minions with the greatest of ease. Good lord. Oh, okay, he's finally in the corner. Finally has to sustain a little bit of pressure. And here we go with the tap dust. Oh, Haruki, you have to make this count through. Bro, come on, you have to make it count. Okay, you got it. No, Illusion Driver, where are you at? Oh no! Oh, and here we go with Kome Kome baiting the DP! Uh, debating the uh, the reversal. Unfortunate for Haruki, man, but Kome Kome is just way. Has won one countless amounts of Brojo Cup. Uh, that being said, you know what? I'm gonna go take a real quick, uh, let's call it a glass of water. Be right back.
Okie dokie, breads and cookies, sorry for the wait. And already I'm back, and you can see Kokida, I was gonna say, is doing pretty good, but then I look at the life gauge and I'm like, oh, maybe not that good. Okay, anyways, what is going to be the mix? Yeah, big 2D counter hit right there from Kohide! Almost got hit by... Ooh, and gets hit by the quit tab dust. Unfortunate for Kohide. Good awareness from Roy to know to uh, use the overhead in this very, very urgent situation and uh, sticky situation of Kohide. Kohide going for the grab. They're trying to bait that uh, DP. Gets hit by the Bandit Bringer. Big 6P counter hit right there from Kohide. Gets the conversion station into the wall break. Decides to keep both their burst gauge and the tension gauge and not go for it. Oh, Lord! Oh, and the bandit bringer out of nowhere. Ah, the big close S counter hit, forcing Kohida to pop the burst. Oh, big standing S directly into the overdrive for the kill. Kohida not out of this by any means. Very nicely done by Kohida. Let's see what's going to be Roy's answer. We shall see. And back to the neutral. No punish right there on the 6P. Probably Roy expecting a uh, Trovel after rewards. Was it Trovel? I keep forgetting. Okay, no, that's the Trovel. Uh, one second. Okay, we're back on time. Get yeah, the big dust loop right there from Roy. Gonna get the wall break. But it's gonna be the mix. Very courageous uh, forward onslaught by Kohide. Decide to not hit any buttons right there. Probably fearing the aerial DP right there from Roy and Kohide. Desperately using the uh, the flick shield. And unfortunately for Roy, uh, unfortunately for him, Roy just doesn't care. Goes straight into the bandit bringer, the bandit revolver uh, to just close the gap that was. Uh, created by using this deflect shield and immediately keeps the pressure on to Kohide and ends up getting the first match quite convincingly. Let's see how Roy, uh, let's see how is going to be the recovery from Kohide. Fortunately for him, gets hit by the DPR right there from Roy. Oh, the big 2S counter hit from Roy. Man, this man knows no fear. What is gonna be done? Oh, Lord. Very nice conversion station from Kohide. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. Oh, wow, that was a sick combo. Yeah, Kohide, he is a lap freak. He knows absolutely every single combo there is to know with, uh, with uh, Giovanna. Probably uh, on... Uh, definitely up there with all of the best Giovanna players in Japan currently. Together with Locks, with uh, with TY as well. I'd say he's probably... Uh, yeah, he's definitely like same tier as uh, both of them. Probably a better Giovanna player than uh, T.Y. is as well. Probably knows the, the mirror better as well since T.Y. always tends to resort to using Chip whenever he fights uh, Kohide. Uh, probably because he doesn't, well, he doesn't feel confident with the, uh, the Giovanna matchup. But uh, this is only to show how strong Kohide is with uh, Giovanna. That being said, Roy is definitely no slouch. Has won countless amounts of Rojo Cups as well. And his overall, uh, well, he is a sponsored player, so that is just a testament of how good of a player he is. But for now, Kohide with uh, the life lead. Almost got hit by the Bringer, but goes straight under it and punishes the other way round in order to take the second round very convincingly. Because mirror matchup sucks in Genius. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know what? I like playing Eno. I like playing against Eno, actually. I used to not, but now I actually, I revel in the, in the... In the mirror match, actually. But I can I kind of understand that yeah, mirror Giovanna might not be as enticing of what it might appear. Oh Lord and Roy didn't commit to any any move there. Very nice with punish from Goide. Goes for the uh, spiral arrow. And Roy with his signature uh, DP whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Roy loves to DP. He's probably one of the most DP um uh, DP addict uh Saul in the entire like Asian region. <laughs> He loves DP and that definitely works out for him. Gonna get the, yeah, gonna get the wild assault for a guaranteed uh, hard knockdown. And ooh, look at that back dash from Kohide. 
Oh, and that went punish! And Koine manages to clutch it out if he doesn't... Yeah, he didn't drop it, so it's perfect. Good stuff from Koine. Puts one on the board. One matches a piece. Good stuff from Koine. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, do we have any issues with the bracket? Nope, not at all. That is a good. No problem and no problem. Oh, wow, that raw freaking Nassante, though. Where did it come from? I have an idea. Very nice with punish. Though, from Koide goes straight into the... Uh, the spiral arrow. Okay, here we go. The cross-up, and this time around, Roy gets his EP. No, his, um, his burst, uh, his burst made it. So he did with the spiral arrow for the wall break, and Roy's still not afraid to just run straight forward and press buttons, man. Gonna get that dust loop. Into the Fafnir for the wall break. And here we go, the jump in and the high low mix up. Oh, he did not pressing any button there. Doesn't want to overcommit whatsoever. Oh, and this should hit. And it does, yeah. That was an, mm, an, unfortunate, an, oh, an unfortunately timed uh, save jump right there from Roy. Probably missed his timing. Uh, and you are in Cornerland. Look at your bar. Look at your health bar completely vanish out of thin air. So, Elgin quitted with the onslaught, fearing that Roy was going to match the EP at that particular instant. He couldn't quite get the 2D to connect, but still okay. Find the opening. Now uh, going straight for the wall combo. The wall carry combo. Nikohide going to benefit from the... Oh, no one gets hit by the 6S right off the bat. Gonna do a lot of damage. Forcing Nikohide to pop the burst. Cause for the aerial overdrive. Is he gonna... Yeah, he is. Yeah, force, yeah forcing Roy to pop the burst there. And that would punish. He almost got the kill. Oh, and Nikohide smelled blood right there. Going... You're trying to really keep close to Roy to prevent him from gathering his top thoughts and really... Um, getting a clear notion of where his um, positioning on the on the screen was and with punishing him adequately. That was really sick. Good stuff from Koide. Again, man. Ah, the neutral of Koide has been pretty pristine right now, not going to lie. Very nice use of the uh, default of the Reflect Shield. Big 6 spear right there from Roy. Goes for the close S again with the Deflect Shield from Koide. That block from Roy, though, man. But you can see that Koide definitely found... Yeah, something. He definitely found... Oh, did, is this gonna kill? Wow. It's not. It's not. Ooh, that really came close, dude. If Roy makes a comeback, this is gonna be sick. Yeah, you can see, yeah, Koide definitely getting a feel of the momentum and the, the rhythm of Roy. Uh, knowing exactly what time Roy is most susceptible to pop the, to pop the DP. Making him with punish and... Punishing him accordingly, and not just on the DP, but also on the Bandit Brain Ground. The Revolver as well, like, every single one of his decisions have been very well thought out. And just as I say this, <laughs> Kohide getting a beating in the corner. Gonna get, uh, gonna get Wild Assaulted right there. So it's gonna be deep mix. Oh, here we go, the forest. And this should definitely do. Unless Kohide pops the burst, which is too late. Okay. Roy not out of this yet, it is still set point. Oh, big 2D round start into the counter, and man, that was pretty freaking uh, gutsy from Kohide. Knowing that if Roy had started the round with the far S, that would have been counter hit for his ass, so that would have been pretty bad. But anyways, here we go with the jump in by Kohide, man, goes for the cross under, is this gonna kill? And it is! Good lord, Kohide dispatching Roy in the loser's bracket, a clean 3-1, bro. Da -da -da. So, uh, yes, so there are two very strong melee... Tsuchiya, here you go. Tsuchiya is another very strong melee player, and they are both the best melee players in Japan currently. So, Heiko-chan and Tsuchiya-san. Tsuchiya-san, unfortunately, is... Uh, well, I didn't have the pleasure of having him over at the Brojo Cup, but I have had the pleasure of playing against him. Very strong melee player, but Heiko-chan is definitely up there as well. Uh, maybe even stronger than he is, I really don't know. But anyways, both players extremely strong. Let's see how Heiko-chan is going to fare in today's tournament. We shall see. I want to go drink. <laughs> Unfortunately, the first round definitely goes to 
Uh, Hagiar with the perfect, nevertheless, I have hyped Pico-chan. Let's hope that he will uh, live up to my expectation, at least. Very nice MTLO right there from Hiko-chan. Gonna get the corner pressure. What is gonna be the mix? Goes for the Lust Shaker. And, and... Oh, Lord, and he's got the opening right there with the Rose. Very nicely done. What is gonna be the Okizumi? We shall see. I said Lust Shaker, but I'm not quite sure if it was the case. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check the uh, names of her attacks because I keep... Forgetting. Uh, so, okay, the wildest. So, oh, no. Tendon top, okay, gotcha. Bad moon, I know. Iron saver, okay. Turbo fall, and. Yeah, it was the, it was the lush shaker, okay, I, I had it correctly. And that being said, here we go with the corner pressure from Hagiara Hagiara getting that wall break with the wildest salt. Go straight with the wake up wildest salt as well. And is in the corner, gets the kill with the quick tap dust. First. Match goes to Hagiara. Very strong performance from him as well. Hagiara is definitely no such as well. One of the best uh, Jackal player in Japan currently. Together with Caffeine and also, well, you have a lot of other Jackal players actually. You have a ton of good Jackal players in Japan. You also had like Yamase, you have uh, Migu Migu, you have uh, Dainiji, Dai, 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 Nidaime? Nidaime, something, something. You have so many like uh, good Jackal players that it's it's not even funny. It's it's crazy how they love this character. That being said, here we go with man, Hagiara with the very the, again another perfect second perfect in two matches for Hagiara. Heiko-chan looking a little bit lost. Not going to lie, Hagiara definitely seems acquainted with the matchup. Let's see how he performs right now. Still in the corner, unfortunately has to deal with the corner pressure. Ah, gets hit by the two KTU, unfortunately. And here we go with, oh no, the trade in favor of Hagiara. Hagiara going straight into the Illusion Driver. Driver! What is going to be the mix-up? Eko-chan needs to make something happen right away. Need I make an agent? Yeah, here you go, here you go. This dude, this dude is also very strong. So yeah, these are like the four, the four best uh, Jackal player in Japan currently. So it's uh, Need I make an agent? Then you have uh, Migu Migu. Then you have uh, Caffeine, and then you have uh, Hagiara. In order, yeah, like these these four are like the best Jackal player in Japan currently. Uh, you have another one also that has recently uh, been making waves, especially when he had his very long set against Daruino. I forgot his name though. It's like Joker, not not Joker. I need to watch the um, I need to watch the, uh, the 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 stream of Daru. But there was another Jackal player who was very very very. Uh, Impressive as well. A newcomer with uh, Romaji, uh, a Romaji name, so Roman name, so no kanjis or you know katakanas, hiraganas or stuff. And I, I, I completely forgot how what his name is. But there's another one, uh, underground one, that has yet to participate to like tournaments and whatnot. But that being said, yeah, Heiko Chan looking a little bit overwhelmed with now. Now finally get something going. But man, look at the defense of Hagiara. He's definitely ready for this Milia, for this Milia matchup. Gets it by the minion, unfortunately for him. Oh uh, lord, yeah, not enough to- Oh lord, gets yeah, air grabbed. You can see, yeah, Higo chan really trying to get out of the pressure. But man, Hagiara, man, just pulling everything out of the freaking- Out of his book, man. It's, it's crazy, just Higo chan getting completely, completely owned. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Higo chan will- Even if he gets sent in the loser's racket, we will definitely see him later on in the tournament. I am sure of it. <laughs> Maki Kaisei, <hey>, gotcha. <laughs> and here we go with the juggle. Hagiara with the freaking. The pressure from the little minions does not let up. Does not want to let Hikochan out of the corner. Hikochan really having a lot of problems. Ah, and this should do it out. This should do it straight into the illusion driver. And just like this, man. Hikochan sent to the loser's bracket a clean three to nail by Hagia. Let's see this. We have both opponents ready to do hit out right now. Kuni versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Kuni Baiken versus Kohide. Giovanna. Let's rock. Indeed. I have no idea in which way this matchup goes. I tend to say it probably goes in the direction of, uh, of Baiken. Uh, probably um, mostly due to the Hiragi which might um, limit the uh, options of, of, uh, of Giovanna to actually apply pressure to them. 
But uh, then again, I'm not familiar with either one of these characters. I just know how to play against them. I don't know how to play them, though. Oh, nice of our there from Kuni. Gets hit by the Nasante straight into the Roman Cancel. And the follow up for the kill. Not enough, but will benefit from a. Uh, oh, Lord, that. That was sick. And here we go with the jump in. And the Abari from uh, Kohide for the kill. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Matchup is quite even, but Kabari is definitely a bit too. Okay, okay, fair enough. Here we go, the wall break. Kohide getting the wall break, yes, because uh, Exxon, actually, we have Exxon in the chat, which is a very, very strong European player. Uh, he has mained uh, both uh, Giovanna and then Baiken when she came out, and he was really proficient with both of them, winning uh, tournaments left and right and making top eights in left and right tournament so he's actually quite knowledgeable on on both characters so it's it's actually godsend that we have him right now in the tournament well in the uh, in the chat to to fact check my ass especially in this particular in this particular matchup but that uh, being said first round goes to kohide immediately Nick gets the jump in on kuni forcing him to pop the burst and here we go with the 2s uh, the 2hs for the knockdown good lord Bacon main, yeah, I know, but while Bacon wasn't there, uh, you you had to play somebody else, right? And you decided to play uh, Giovanna. So you did main uh, Giovanna for uh, a short while, that is. Good jump in right there from Kuni, gonna get the wall break, the, the, uh, the counter hit, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, another counter hit. Now I couldn't quite get any um, like conversion off of it, and here we go with Kohide in the aerial overdrive. Gonna go straight into the... Uh, Roman cancel and the follow-up for the kill. Kohide looking hot right now, very nicely done. On fire, the Kohide is. Ah, Lord Kuni just going straight up into the Hiragi. Definitely hoping for Kohide to press some button right there. And the Hiragi, here we go. Let's put the heels on Sen. I'll try to get something. Oh, try to keep the momentum going, gets it by the Nasante. And you can see uh, Kohide trying to beat that burst, but Kuni not. Popping the burst that easily. Oh lord, I almost got the punish on the... Oh no! No, boom! <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> That's kind of comic comical though. <laughs> Again in the Sante, man. It's been working so good in Kohide's favor. Kohide going for the extension station combo. Should be able to get the kill. No, 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 not enough. But we'll get the... the what's called the heart knockdown. Let's see what's gonna be the mix. Uh, Kabari, no one's home. And the 2H is catching Kohide. Being a little bit too. Oh! He's gonna get the. Yo, John sent for the kill! Good stuff from. Uh, Kuni! The uh, left right mix up right there. Careful with the Nasante. has definitely been playing a number of new. Ah, oh, big 2S counter hit right there. From Kuni gets the extension station, man. Goes for the oh lord no and that grabber from Gohide goes for the Puente for the side switch and Kohide straight into the overdrive 40 hard knockdown and the damage also what's gonna be the mix wow that was sick he's gonna get the conversion that was sick from Kuni oh no you have to eat it eat it eat it okay yeah careful there oh Kuni. Kuni just deciding to die there. Why? Oh, but I'm so hey, at his burst. Kuni dying with his burst here. That was unfortunate. I don't really understand. Maybe he didn't realize that he didn't have the first round, I guess. That was strange. But anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, who am I to judge Kuni anyways? So here we go with Koide getting that big amount of damage right there on uh, Kuni. Oh, and getting hit by the Kabari. It is Kabari time. Ooh, and getting all of them conversions, bro. That was sick. Goes for the gun. Look at all them fireworks. Nasante just picking Kuni out of the air. But the burst hits everywhere now. The burst hits is full screen. So he could. I'm pretty sure he could have punished. He could have bursted on the. Um, ah, maybe he was afraid that Koide was going to pop the, the tension at that particular instant. Well, I don't know. I, th I still think he should have tried to, to burst because the burst is fourth screen right now. So it's not as if uh, it's not as if Kohide could have uh, committed to the uh, what's called the uh, the dust and Kuni popped the burst right at that particular moment. And uh, I think that he could have hit him, I think. But anyways, here we go with the wall break and Kuni back on track, even though this is set point. Yeah, he could. Yeah, because he had tension. But I mean, that 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 would have been 
he he had to he had to um he had to take the the, the guess I think because in the end he died with the burst without trying basically which is unfortunate I think but then again it is what it is <laughs> good stuff from Kohide man I'm gonna get the Nasante yeah could, oh try to go for the Puente but Kuni definitely on point where they try to go for the grab but Kohide again with the Puente should be able to get the kill using the extension of uh, the Wild Assault for the kill just like Thank you for the wait, and just as I come back, man, Kome Kome already up one round over Hagiara. Hagiara doing his best to try, yeah, to keep, or uh, to close the gap between Kome Kome and him, but uh, as you can see, Kome Kome is also very happy to close this gap and to apply pressure in the corner. Here we go, we're playing Roblox, man. Here we go, the, the medium super cube into the overhead. <laughs> the overhead sphere. Here we go with the explosion and the ice cube and the wind cube. And the medium cube yet again. Oh lord, forcing I gotta pop the burst. Okay, we are back in neutral. This is definitely a position that Kumi Kumi wants to be in. And we have minions on the track. And again, man. Kome Kome dispatching them. Oh, gets hit by one though. Okay, this is good for Hagara. Let's see if Hagara can maintain the pressure in the corner. Kome Kome not afraid to run straight after Jack O, oh, even though they have minions on deck and goes for the overhead sphere into the wild assault for the kill. First round goes, first match goes to Kome Kome, very, very convincingly. Let's see for the second match. Is Hagiara gonna bring the necessary adjustment in order to bring it back? And Kome Kome already with a pretty hefty life lead, goes for the explosion, gets the juggle. Oh, and the double, the double freaking, uh, you got the, the double shoot you, the double concentration. Oh, here we go, the electrical cube into the overhead sphere, into the wild assault for the kill. Kome Kome takes the first round of the second match. Okay, I gotta look a little bit lost, not going to lie. Electric cube. <laughs> I need one day to learn the real names of these ones. Oh, these attacks, man. I'm never gonna do it. I'm way too lazy for this. Anyways, here we go again, man. Look at Kome, Kome, and the, the attention to detail. Dispatching every single minion thrown over at him, man. This is crazy, man. And again with the call out from Kome, Kome. Gonna get the juggle using the medium cube into the wall break. And just waiting for Aya to just get off of this wall spot. Probably a little bit too far to get anything substantial going. Anyways, this is unfortunately not playing in his favor. And yes, as you can see, if you're Jacko and you have minions on the, uh, if you have ja if you play Jacko and you have minions on the screen and you use Wild Assault, all of your minions will disappear right away. I don't know if it was intended or not, but it's definitely not working in her favor. <laughs> cube one, cube two, multiple cube, big cube, electric cube. Yeah, exactly. And super cube, yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna call the, the the cube that stays on the screen very very long and is very slow. I'm gonna call it big cube, yeah. Big cube. Here we go. I'm good. Big cube, and then you have the super cube, yeah. It, it, it's it seems only only fair to call it like this. Okay, anyways, here we go with the corner positioning and Haya yeah, trying to apply pressure. Finally got his first round in this uh, in the screen set. The super cube, exactly. And Haya yeah, looking pretty good. You can see Kome Kome's mana bar is starting to wane a bit. He's got the uh, counter hit though and gonna get... Oh, we're gonna go with the big Q. Back with concentration and Lord, is she gonna pull through it? Yes, she does. I gotta win the desperation station right there, but actually hits the target with it. Very nicely done by Hagara. Oh, gets uh, actually his turn back. Stole his, his turn back and again, yeah, you can see, man, Kome Kome. Always paying attention to the minions 
and this should do for Hagara. Gets the second match, man. Finally manages to put one on the board. The multicolor cube, <laughs> exactly. Good lord, we're playing Roblox. Good lord. Anyways, on to the next match. Man, this tournament is going very smoothly. No one is making me wait. No one is, uh... Ah, this is I love it when it happens like this. Anyways, back to the neutral. And finally, Kome Kome getting hit by a minion. Wow, using the 2D right there to hit through the minions. Uh, Jacko directly. And on with the multi-cube. Electric cube on the house shell. The water cube. Oh, Lord. Yeah, trying to read uh, the direction. Oh, Lord, super cube in the house. And it's still fine. It did hit Hagara out. Meaning that all of the uh, minions had to be dispatched. And here we go with the multi cube verse, the, the multiverse cube. Now here we go, water cube, overhead sphere into the super cube. Not enough to kill, but it is. It is thanks to the OTG. Kome Kome taking the lead one round. Let's see how this spins out. Explosion into the tri, tri cube. <laughs> tri cubes. And here we go with the aerial earthquake. Oh lord, the cube of Babylon. <laughs> exactly. Electricity cube into the overhead sphere, into the electric cube, into the tri... The triforce, I'm gonna call it, I guess. Oh! The water cube! Almost got the juggle off of the water cube. Gonna go with the air to air. And it's back in the corner, you are. Explosion! Overhead! Wow, that block was crazy from Hagera. Managing to block that overhead cube. Which goes really, really cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, my tongue man, this is a tongue twister, I'm not gonna lie. But here we go finally with the YRC from Komi Komi trying to get out of the pressure. Hagera probably have has all of this pent up stress right now, just wants to apply pressure on his own. Finally gets the opportunity to do so, gets the bait on the tank and goes straight into Illusion Driver for the kill. Boom, get out of here. Good stuff from Hagela, not out of this yet. We have a perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. One round, one match apiece. Electric Cube is out. We go with the Tri Cube into the. Oh lord! No, oh, no! No one's thrown from Kome Kome. Okay, Hagela finally out of the corner. Trying to use the minions uh, to close the gap to force Kome Kome to block and not move. The Elysian Driver! Elysian! Driver. Okay, and here we go with the wall break into the Elysian Driver. Driver! Good stuff from Hagala. What is gonna be the mix? If anybody has the right to pummel Asuka, it is Jacko indeed. Oh, and the 2K, the 2P for the kill. Good stuff from Hagala. Actually taking the lead, yo. Okay, here we go. Ah, yeah, I'm not out of this and actually taking the lead is Kome Kome gonna be able to make the comeback and get some uh, pressure and some, what's called, um, momentum of his own, we shall see. Oh lord, delaying his fall using a cube and then sending the tri-cube right after it. Oh lord. Good 6 feet from Hagara hits Kome Kome out of the air, has the corner positioning and three minions on deck going to buff them as... Well, in order to get continuous pressure, you get open once, it's over for you, Asuka-chan. Careful there. Oh, and he managed to pull through. Are you serious? That was sick. Oh, Lord! Using the cube to put distance between Hagara and him and actually made Hagara whiff and whiff punishing him in the process. And it's time to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's go! Super cube! I choose you! <laughs> Is it gonna be the mix? Uh, overhead cube. Oh, nice blocks from Hagara. Definitely paying attention, attention to the deck of Asuka right now. Oh, here we get a close pressure from Hagara trying to close the gap and may eat a super cube. No, he will not. No super cube for you, sir. The minions are on deck. It's time to eat some pressure. Oh, oh, the Abari though from Kome Kome. This is so scary. Ah, uh, and straight into the Elysian Driver. Is he? He did it. Yeah, points out. <gasps> oh no, too far to punish, but still. Hayala caught sleeping right there. Probably thinking he was gonna get killed anyway, so might as well not waste any effort to try to press buttons and whatnot. 
Ah, gets hit by the electric cube. Oh, forced upon the burst right off the bat. The little minion is on deck. Nice use of the explosion right there from Kome Kome. Oh, electric cube. I choose you. And a nice grab from Hagala gets the side switch. And a chance to apply pressure of his own. Oh, nice blocks from Kome Kome though. On the tab dust. Finally forced to pop the YRC. Once out of the corner, gets the, uh, the cross up. Both players are playing out of their mind, man. Dispatching each other's weapons, you know. Big cube sent out. Nope, I'm going to hit it with my jab. And... Oh, again, man, with the overhead sphere. If you do not pay attention, you are going to get hit by it. And super cube should be able to seal the deal. Yeah, it is. Good stuff from Kome Kome. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two matches, a piece. What is... Who is going to take it? The following match is going to determine who makes his way to the... Uh, winner's final. Ah, very nice use of the tri cubes right there. And the pressure is real. Oh, no, you have to eat it. Eat it, sir. Eat it. Nice air. Entire right there from Hagiara. Forcing URC and Kome Kome is back on the onslaught. And this summer, he has to endure the minion pressure. Nice grab from Hagiara. Gonna get the OTG for extended damage and. Well, oh lord, what was that? That was scary. And the grab! Hagiakome Kome is definitely not expecting it. And again, the grab, and this should be able to do Hagiala taking the lead with the Elysian Driver! Driver! So good stuff from Hagiala on set point. Is Kome Kome gonna be able to bring it back? He does have uh, almost of a full burst gauge on deck. So let's see if this is going to be a... Oh, Lord. And using half of it in order to get the Wild Assault to continue his... Oh, his pressure. Nice use of the overhead sphere. Going to get the wall break. Straight into the super cube. <laughs> the super cube. Oh, okay, it's going to be the mix. Safe jump it is. Into the corner pressure. I got to turn to... Oh, Lord. Super cube for the rescue. Oh, and enough to kill. Damn, that was a reaction with punish. Good stuff from Kome Kome. We are going on to the last round of the last match, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to make his way into the winner's final? We shall see. I get up popping the YRC right away. Once that positive bonus as soon as possible. Oh, Lord. Cube and Minion. Who is going to come out of it? We shall see. And again, man. Kome Kome on point. You cannot throw Minions on this, man. Look at this. Okay, finally. Finally, Hagiara. Oh, getting hit by the reversal from Kome Kome. But because, of course, Asuka has one reversal in his deck. It is the ice cube that comes straight out of the ground. It is invincible on startup. Good stuff, though, from Kome Kome using the explosion to dispatch the little minions. And it's back on track. Super cube to get rid of everything on deck. Nice blocks from Hagiara. Thankfully for him, he didn't commit to anything. I got trying to bait, possibly bait the, uh, the reflect uh, the reflect shield. Oh lord, I hate this. I don't know what's happening. What is this? What is this? What are you doing? Ah, uh, okay, okay, minions are here. Ah, uh, the super cube is there though. Oh lord, I got getting hit by the super cube. Only one more hit can do it. I got absolutely needs to close the gap. Oh lord, he's got it. He's it. Uh, using the wild assault though, but it's still okay. He can place a minion thanks to it. And is back in the corner for thee, but not for me. Find the opening with the counter hit. Is that gonna be enough? And Hagala does it! Sends come and come in the loser's bracket three. I need I need water. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sorry for the wait. I'm back here, guys. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, and just like this, Roy actually gonna get the first match. Pretty convincingly. Good stuff for Roy. Let's see how this pans out for Mugi in the later state of this set. Nice 6 right there from Mugi. Nice 
uh, recognition station. Go straight for the 6HS. 6HS, which has benefited from a newly um, added feature, which guard breaks now. Go straight for it again. That being said, it cannot be cancelled into any special of Nagariki anymore. Oh, big. 4S right there. Roy not using the roll hit cancel to extend it. It still has the corner position, which is fine. <gasps> wow, no punish on the YRC, though. This was unfortunate for Roy. That Roy failing to cancel, too quick cancel right there. Oh, Lord. Mugi cloud pressing buttons. Wow, that was a big 6P, but no punish either. Ah, big bandit bringer right there. No 6P. Wow! And Mugi just exploding. Yeah, uh, Mugi definitely in, in danger right there. No, negative penalty. Oh, Lord! Roy popping the burst and gets the kill with the bandit. Good stuff from Roy. Gets the first match pretty convincingly. Good stuff from Roy. Takes the lead. So let's see how this spins out. And on to the second, uh, the second match. A nice grab from Roy. Gonna get the corner positioning again with the grab. Still content to simply get the grab. Here we go the forest again with the grab. <laughs> Roy is a. Oh, Lord even gets the bait on the DP. Gonna go straight for or not? Thought he was gonna go for the wild assault, but apparently not the case. Confident that he can take it without investing any uh, sort of, uh, of 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 um. How do you say it? Um, of gauge. Ah, uh, here we go, the far S from Mugi. Gonna get the juggle and the corner carry into the wall break with the 6 HS. Mugi also down half a bar, but it's okay. He will benefit from the positive bonus for both his tension and the burst. And you can see the <gasps> almost got the juggle with the freaking DP, though this is unfortunate for him. He couldn't quite get it, but it's okay. He still has the momentum going. Quite a lot of blood gauge to play with as well. Gets hit by the um, gunflame, unfortunately for him. Forced above the burst as well. A ah, big 4S counter hit right there for uh, Roy. Gonna get the wall break definitely. Maybe not. Still uh, conserving his uh, gauge for possibly a uh, for the next round. Possibly we'll see. And gets it on for. Oh Lord, nope. Roy says no. I don't give a hit. And he might live to regret it. Oh no, actually, that was the correct way to go. Roy with the vortex goes straight underneath the standing S of Mugi and punishes him accordingly. Good stuff from Roy. Takes the first, oh, the second match, actually. And the, quite the lead. Hopefully for Mugi, he will find a way to bring it back. Because if not, this is going to be a ticket straight out of the tournament for him. Let's wish him luck, though. Mugi, very, very, uh... Well, actually participating very often to the Brojo Cup, I'm eternally grateful to him. Always brings a lot of players with him as well, so always a treat and a pleasure to have him over at the, uh, the Brojo Cup. Okay, nice confirm right there. Couldn't quite get the follow-up DP though to hit Roy, but still okay. Does have quite the uh, health lead, but then again, that can melt away in a blink, in the blink of an eye. That was a sick bag dash from Mugi in the corner, punishing the grab attempt from Roy. Okay, here we go, the bandit bringer. Mugi pressing buttons right there, knowing that Roy was just trying to um, BS him a bit. <laughs> okay, that's how this spins out. Yeah, big forest right there from uh, Roy gets the punish on the DP. This is going to be huge, forcing Roy to have the burst and... Mugi not afraid to press buttons right there. Oh, almost got the punish on the sending kit. And this should do, yeah. This is definitely gonna do. This is definitely gonna do. <laughs> the triple success. For the kill. Good stuff from Mugi. Finally puts one on the board. Definitely not out of this yet. He needs two straight wins in order to stay alive in the tournament and send Roy out of it, though. So let's see how this spins out. Move on to the next battle. Big 2S counter hit. Gets the juggle and forces Roy to pop the burst. Roy trying to make his way in. Content to just try to wait until Mugi swings something in order to wave punish him. Almost got the punish right there on the 2 HS recovery too. Mugi finding the, uh, the hit on block with the 2S. Again pushing Roy in the corner ever so slightly. Good 2S counter hit right there. Noticing that Roy really likes to run forward uh, towards Mugi. 
Uh, and yeah, no punish on the Bandit Bringer. Then again, it's so hard to punish it with the different timing that it has. So I can definitely understand uh, Moogie's uh, hard time uh, trying to punish it. And a 6 HS for the kill. This is not an overhead, by the way. This is just probably a frame trap that Moogie resorted to using in order to catch Roy pressing buttons. Tried to go for the bite, but Roy just on point. Sniffing it out, not getting hit by it. Oh, Lord, Boogie getting hit by the far as though. Bandit indeed. And nice blocks from Moogie. Gets grabbed though. This is looking pretty bad. Yeah, you hate it when you're in this positioning. And Moogie gonna lose this second uh, round. We are on set point. Is Moogie gonna be able to bring it back? Or is so I'm gonna say soy. Is Roy gonna seal the deal? Roy finally popped in the burst. No punish on the bandit bringer. And you absolutely needed it though. But still kiss not over. Ah, the delayed bandit bringer gets hit by Moogie, who should be able to get quite the amount of damage. Ah, Moogie tried to go for the six. Oh Lord, and that's six PN. This should do. Moogie with the comeback just needs one more, and he would have a three win straight in a row. So let's see how this turns out. Moogie working on his comeback right now. Is he gonna be able to do it? We shall see. Perhaps. Yeah, Roy sticking to his guns. Uh, to my knowledge, he does not have any sub characters, so that would be quite, kind of strange here. If, uh, well, he might need to like reset the momentum and you know take a take a break and just go back to the lobby screen. But apparently, uh, Roy is quite confident that this should not be the case. So let's see how this turns out. Boogie man with the 2S, oh lord, and it's back to, wow, to confirm, single hit 6P right into the Wasude Yuki for Moogie, that was sick. Get out of here! Moogie with the life lead. Ah! Roy catching that Moogie was definitely trying to uh, bait his burst, unfortunately for Roy, man. Currently on set point, reverse set point for against him, actually, so let's see how this turns out. Roy has only one more chance to get hit by the 2S. Ah, uh, Moogie trying to bait that burst out. And the burst came very late. Oh no, Moogie. This is gonna increase your yeah your blood gauge a lot. But it's fine, it's fine. Oh, is Moogie gonna do it? And he does! Roy sent and eliminated out of the tournament. Fine as it is, I don't think I need to, uh, to check it anymore. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, next up, Steven versus Nage. Let's see how this pans out. Mankind knew that they could not change society indeed. Here we go. Nage Faust. Operation versus Steven. Heaven or one. Let's rock! Let's go indeed! And on with Steven trying to drop for his blood, unfortunately for him. Gets smacked by... Gets <laughs> smacked by the... Bye-bye, uh, Nage. And here we go with uh, Nage trying to make his way out of the corner. Gets the jump out, but Lord Steven with his cross under. Definitely caught Nage off guard. That being said, Nage definitely not out of this yet. Does get hit by the Bandit Bringer, though. This is unfortunately for him. You're going in Wall Break, wall break World. Okay, Steven definitely going to benefit from a tension, a positive bonus for both his tension and his burst gauge. Content to just. Yeah, content to just play it very slow. Does not want to overextend, especially against somebody as strong as Nage. That being said, look at the confirms from Nage getting the wall, the, the side switch into the wall break. This is huge for Nage. That being said, Steven does have a uh, does have almost a full tension bar. Gets hit by the standing jab from Nage. Nage takes the first round. Very, very, very convincing. Good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. And oh lord, the 3K man, that magic move. <laughs> oh, big 2S counter hit. This will. Oh lord, nice blocks from Steven. Did get hit by the forest though. Okay, and on with the salt pressure. This is definitely going to break wall. Oh no, what the hell? How did this swift? What was that? And Steven not afraid to just pop the burst. Here we go, the bandit bringer and Steven using the banana, not the banana, uh, using the, the trumpet uh, for his own benefit. Gets it though by the sending chest, I believe it is. 
of Nage. This is gonna be shoot for Nage. Not in. Oh, too far to get the hit. Oh, oh, big forest counter hit. Nage just one hit from uh, victory. But that being said, Steven as well. If he opens up, he is going to get the kill, and he is good stuff from Steven. Very nice confirms. Staying alive. Who is going to take that first win? The one who will will definitely have a uh, psychological advantage against his opponent. Big juggle time by... No! By Nage, but too high to get the, uh, the wild uh, assault to hit. This is uncharacteristic from Nage, but you know what? Stuff happens. It's fine. It's only the first match nevertheless, so it's fine. And a big trumpet from Nage. Failed to get the juggle though. But gonna get that Roman cancel extension combo this time around. It should hit. Yes, it did. The wild assault did. Gonna get the wall, the, the heavy knockdown. Now let's see how this spins out. Nage with the quick teleportation into the kill combo. Nage takes the first match very convincingly. Very nicely done. See how this spins out. On to the second match. Even taking a little bit of a time in order to gather his thoughts, per uh, perhaps. Ah. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, big 6S counter hit from Nage, from, from Steven. Getting Nage in the corner, but Nage is straight out of it using the teleportation. Gonna get the uh, standing each though. Ah, that was an unfortunate attempt of 46 by Steven, but they didn't get punished, so it's, it's still fine. Here we go, the mix, mix, mix. Gonna get the knockdown. Here we go, the safe jump. And Steven not afraid to pop the DP right after the first hit. Oh, this ends out. Oh, big punish on the bandit bringer. Ah, and the little father is here to help his father. Ah, but in the, in the process makes him, uh, makes him drop his combo though. And punished by the, the enemy. This is not good for Nage. It's not over till it's over. He will get a full bar, uh, a full burst bar, anyways. And here we're going to get the standing jab for the kill right after the bandit revolver. On to the second round. Now I get content to just try to zone a bit. Hit his opponent from far away. Does not want him close by. But Steven, man, Steven with the DPS, man. A big vortex. No punishes from Nugget. Definitely wasn't expecting this. And Steven just running into the freaking wall, the offensive wall of, well, the defensive walls of Nage, man. Nage not letting anything go by. A big, big bandit revolver right there from Steven. Gonna get that wall combo. Okay, it was gonna be the mix. We go to save jump. Oh, and the big DP! And here we go, the bandit revolver for the kill. And on to the next battle. Okay, oh lord, Steven with the bandit revolver. But Nage, well, knowing about it and just um expecting him but still he had the trumpet so that would have made it safe anyway how it actually saved him in that particular situation nage with the oh lord with the burst bait this is gonna be huge big overdrive right there for nage lots of damage incoming your boom <laughs> them faces though and nage with the uh health advantage gets hit by dp on wake up unfortunately for him Careful there. Oh, the big spear right there to catch. Steven. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go with the YRC. Nice blocks from Steven, though. Gets it by the tab dust, though. And uh, just like this, not game. Uh, up 2 to 0. Steven failing to uh, completely adapt to the situation. And you can just see that Nagi is definitely ready for everything that Steven is currently throwing at his, uh, at his way. Steven trying to. To take some time to recollect himself, I do believe. Let's see how this fans out. Oh, 
Okie dokie and back to the match. Nage with the huge advantage, gonna get that wall splat for the kill. Not even needing it to get the kill during this round. Let's see if Steven can make a comeback, we shall see. Nice forest right there from Nage, hitting Steven from across the screen. Big bag dash right there on the standing yes from, uh, of, of Steven. Oh lord! Big Volcanic Viper. Good lord, Nage with the blocks, man. Knows exactly when to press the button. And here we go, the Bandit Revolver and Steven not out of this yet. Going for the wall break for the kill. Still set point though. Steven definitely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Ah, unfortunately for him, gets hit by Nago. Nago going with the Wild Assault for the heavy knockdown. Ooh, nice bag dash from Steven. Gets the punish on it with the 4S. Wild Assault for pressure time. Goes low this time around and Nage has to endure all of this damage. Which is uh, reasonable for all things considered. Nice blocks from Steven, how do you know? Good lord. And here we go with, oh lord, the mixes. Nage definitely not. Just wanting to finish this match right there. Does not want to go in another set against Steven. Trying to find, make his way as safely and as easily as possible. And just like this, Nage, man, preventing Steven from even popping the burst. Using the overdrive and blocking and locking it out of him. Good lord, just like this, man. Now you can kind of understand how this is a good matchup for him. I'm not quite sure. Super Saiyan, yes, I'm Super Saiyan. Look, look, I'm Super Saiyan. Hey, arigato gozaimasu. Buff is the arigato gozaimasu. Okay, here we go with uh, the, uh, what's it called, uh, with the start of the, uh, of this match, actually, Kume Kume versus Mugi, so Asuka versus Nagoriki, let's see how this pans out. Okay, Mugi already out of the corner, trying to make his way to the other side of the screen with his opponent back to the wall. Very cheeky grab from Kome Kome there. It could have gone really either way this time, really should have. But then again, that worked out in his favor. He is forced to block though right now. Okay, good stuff from Mugi. Yeah. Mugi trying to find the opening. It's Kome Kome, man. You won't let him have it. Finally, Mugi Mugi finding the opening. Gonna go for the big boys combo. Into the wall break. Oh, Super Cuban coming! As blocks from Mugi, forced to respect it. Oh, and here we go with it. Uh, just one hit is all that Mugi needed, and he's got it. Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the kill. On to the second round. So what is Kome Kome gonna do? Ah, nice electric cube into the blue cube. Or ice cube. <laughs> and here we go with the read the book into the wall break. Oh, into Super Cube into the wall break. Good stuff from Kome Kome. Gonna get the hard knockdown. We go to safe jump. Nice block on the overhead cube. But can you block... Uh, not the cube. Overhead sphere. But can you block another? And again with the big cube, man. Good tap dust right there from Kome Kome into the super cube for the kill. Nicely done. Kome Kome answering in due fashion. On to the third round. Oh, Lord, tried to get that explosion to catch whatever Mugi was trying to do. Wow, Mugi Mugi waiting until the last second for Kome Kome to send a cube and pressing standing S into the Rekka to uh, to actually, well, into the, his um, his target combo in order to reach Kome Kome and punish him accordingly. That was actually sick. Good stuff from Mugi. Let's see, here we go with the bite and this should be checkmate. <laughs> This is checkmate right there. This is mini game time. Yeah, here we go. Or not? Yeah. Well, uh, interesting that Mugi decided not to go with the, um, you know, the uh, overhead and uh, low uh, mix-up using both the, um, you know, the Beyblade and uh, the DP, the follow-up of the DP. Anyways, on to the second match. It is definitely not over till it's over. Here we go with the oh, the explosion station. You have to hold it. Kome Kome making good use of the Wild Assault in order to get guaranteed uh, 
guaranteed and safe pressure. And look at the freaking management from Kome Kome, man. What are you supposed to do? When are you supposed to press a button? And here we go with the super cube coming up. Or not. Ah, uh, Mugi Mugi finding the opening. Goes for the close slash. Wants to stay close, so uses the clone. Oh, Lord, nice blocks from, uh, from Kome Kome. Should be able to get the kill with the big cube into the super cube. Well, no, into the read the book. Good stuff from Kome Kome with the perfect BGM incoming right now. It is none other than Low Wayne's BGM. I love this this BGM, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I love this BGM. Anyways, Mugi Mugi trying to close the gap gets the bite. It is party time indeed. You have to hold it on. You have to hold it. And Mugi going straight into the... <laughs> Straight into the overdrive. Gonna get that uh, heavy knockdown. Good stuff. What's gonna be the offense? Nice blocks from Kome Kome. Gonna have to block it. Uh, and the pressure is real. Nice. Good old grab for the kill by Mugi. Very nicely done. I'll get on to the next battle. Uh, here we go with Kome Kome. Uh, trying to keep the pressure on using the cubes. Escorting Mugi in the corner. Uh, Mugi trying to reach Kome Kome with the Beyblade, but Kome Kome was way too high in the air this time around. Nice 6 speed into the Beyblade, though. That was sick. Baits the tech attempt. Punishes accordingly. <laughs> Gets 6 speed, though. Uh, try to with punish uh, with the 6 HS. And it's back to uh, zoning time. Careful there. Two overheads. Oh, uh, that back dash, though. No punish on the 6 speed attempt, though. This was unfortunate. Ooh, nice bite. Okay, it's game time. No, Mugi dealing his uh, his offense a little bit too much right there. Gets it by the roots into the green cube. Again, the roots man catching the back dash from uh from the um no the deflect shield from uh from Mugi. Here we go with deflect shield of mine. Says Kome Kome gets hit by the DP, and they should do. Yes, it will. Good stuff for Mugi up to the zero. Is he going to be able to eliminate Kome Kome? We shall see sooner rather than later. Let's see how this pans out. Lord. And here we go with Mugi. Ah, getting grabbed in the corner, unfortunately for him. And here we go to wall break with the super cube. Super cube, I choose you. Ah, uh, Moogie having to hold that pressure right there. Oh, Lord, did it reach? It did. He's going to get the follow-up too. Nice knockdown. The double Fukio to get as close to him as possible. Very nice bar right there from Kome Kome. Catching the Fukio, the Fukio of, uh, of Moogie. Uh, is he gonna get enough gauge to uh, get corner carried? No, actually. Nah, uh, yeah, and Kome Kome content to just block, use the YRC actually this time around. And here we go with the 2D for the kill. Very nicely done by Kome Kome. Okay, what's up? Again, man, that 2D has been the bane of me, man. Okay, Moogie with the corner pressure. It's time to make things happen right there. Goes for the Biden. The cheeky one is that. Yeah. And uh, uh, Kome Kome having to. Oh, uh, Lord. Wow. Kome Kome, man. Checking the, checking the approaches of Moogie out, man. That being said, Kome Kome is losing a lot of life right there because of the quick, uh, the quick concentration. Very nice overhead spear. Gonna get the wall break with the uh, wild assault. And it's back to the corner for you, sir. Very nice 6 speed though for Mugi. And here we go with the Rick as well. The oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Again, just dispatch it with a standing S, of course. Why not? Very nice 6 speed from Kome Kome. Aware, bro. He's aware. Kome Kome finally with his first game. Finally. Will not go down without a fight. Let's see what is going to come on next. And if Kome Kome going to get back some of the momentum. And most of the momentum that Mugi has. I'll be right back guys.
Okay, sorry for the wait. And here we go with Kome Kome taking the lead actually one round this time around for this current match. Lugi with the grab tried to go for another one actually, but uh, uh, Kome Kome this time around just jumping out of offense does get grabbed yet again this time by Mugi. Goes straight for the wall splat into the wall break. Tries to go for the aerial grab, but Kome Kome too high in the sky and couldn't quite get grabbed. We go with the wire C, Kome Kome with the quick dust. Try to get the kill there. Wow! And what is going to be the mix? He goes for the grab again. Just like this, we are on set point. Let's see if Mugi can seal the deal. Okay, and Kome Kome though with the onslaught draws first blood for the second round, for this third round actually. This is a set point though. So if Kome Kome actually does not manage to win this one, Mugi Mugi will eliminate him. We shall see. Hmm. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, Kome Kome finding the opening with the overhead sphere and stays alive to uh, live another day actually. On to the final set though, the one who takes this one will eliminate the other one and move forward in the bracket. Very nice block from Kome Kome. Uh, still in the corner though, Mugi definitely likes to be here. Ooh, big jumping cube right there from Kome Kome. Catches the swing attempts from Mugi. Nice 2D. Oh, and Kome Kome with the big cube juggle should be able to get that wall break. Actually not. Still content to just keep Mugi in the corner. Goes for the read the book. Okay, here we go with uh, the target combo. Again, target combo for Mugi in the corner. Forces the YRC. Oh, nice lock still from Mugi. And Mugi unfortunately gets hit by the standing S yes, in the combo for set point currently. Mugi absolutely need this round and the other one if he wants to stay alive. Kome with the grab gets the side switch. Things are looking pretty dire for Mugi, not going to lie. Kome Kome using the Wild Assault to keep the pressure on, but Mugi finding the jump uh, option, the jump, um, the jump possibility. Into the wall break. Mugi looking pretty good now. He managed to get some momentum back. Ah, data bar though from Mugi. Ah, oh, gets grabbed again by Kome Kome. Okay, and here we go with ah the overhead sphere into the ring. The bug into what's the Ryuki? And this one definitely should be enough to kill, is it though? Well, but it's still fine. Mugi has a oh, okay, it's, it's enough. Yeah, of course. Damn, we're going on to the last match of the absolute last round, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, Lord, you're going to far. Okay. Good stuff from Mugi. Wants to keep the pressure going. Oh, and manages to bait that freaking grab attempt from Kome Kome. Still, Kome Kome just content to freaking block, but you cannot block forever against Nagori Yuki, especially. Wow, Mugi baiting that, baiting that burst, man. But yeah, unfortunately, he already committed to uh, forward burst. Since now, the oh lord, he found the opening. Go for the grab. And gets the kill with the Roman cancel extension. That's quite a feat if you ask me. But we're still, this is going to be the last uh, loser's record matchup. After this one, we shall be going to the uh, winner's final to see, uh, I forgot to use in the winner's final. So. Kohide versus Hagiara actually. Yeah. So therefore looking forward to this one as well. Big use on right there from Kuni. Gonna get the grab. And I get forced to pop the gold bur the gold burst yes i mean ah could he popping the burst as well but that is the blue burst oh lord that was sick what's happening what's going on now get with the juggles go straight into the are you okay <laughs> boom 
<laughs> that only face though. Oh, it was gonna be the mix. Nah, game man. Oh, goes for the wild assault. Should be able to get the kill. If I can just have a little bit of guts, but not enough to sustain that amount of damage though. Nage drawing first blood gets the first round. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. Nice 6p from Nage. It has one. Uh, here we go with the afro. And Nage getting uh, the jump in. Kuni content to uh, just block him, but unfortunately pressed the button during uh, while his wig was under fire. Wow, where are we? Good lord. Nagi with the freaking... Uh, he knew where the trumpet was and teleported right on it. I thought that Kuni grabbed it at first, but actually it was the scarecrow of, um, of, of Nagi who took it. I was so surprised. I actually thought it was in his favor, but it wasn't the case. Yeah, Nagi with the awareness, man. You, nobody knows anything that's... Nobody knows uh, Faust things as accurately and as good as Nage, you know? Okay, and speaking of which, here we go with Nage and the wall break into the hard knockdown. What is gonna be the mix up? Big Hiragi on wake up right there from Kuni, finally. Ooh, nice aerial take for both of them. Oh! And Nage, man, with the delayed mix, 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 catching Kuni off guard. Again with the TP man, definitely working in the favor of Nage. Gonna get the mix, mix, mix for the kill. On to next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, Lord, Lord. Here we go the slaps from Nage against the forest into the 2S counter hit. Oh, big, big, big spear right there into the golf club from Nage. Oh, gonna get the freaking cross-up meteorites, and this should be enough to kill. Nage, man, with a quick 2-0 to, oh, to zero right now. Is it, though? With a perfect, nevertheless, that was quick as hell. Quick 2-0 to zero right there for Nage. Kuni still has one more chance to try to make it back. Is he gonna be able to do so? We shall see. Go to dive, try to go for the overhead, but Kuni was on point with the blocks. Big Kabari for Kuni finally finds something in, goes for the Yozan Sen to get the corner carry. Good luck. Ooh, no blocks right there from Kuni, and gets hit by the spear again while trying to backdash. This is unfortunate for Kuni. Ah, here we go, the jabs. Nage definitely checking Kuni. Wow, wow, what do you borrow from Kuni though? Still got hit by the... Wow! That was sick! The conversion! The conversion from... Kuni still gets hit by the club. The, not the club, the baseball bat. Ah, big confirms for Nage. And just like this, Nage is on set point. With a quick potential 3 to nil. Is Kuni gonna be able to make it, bring it back? Here we go with the wall break. Yo, Hakumon, how you doing, bro? Welcome back. And oh, nice jump in, and Kuni again getting hit by the dive. The dive is the bane of every single player who plays against Faust. I'm telling you. Oh, little Faust is here to play. Stop harassing my papa. That's what you saying. So many bombs, though. Careful there. Yeah, Nagi is the bomb master, and here we go again. Nagi using the scarecrow teleportation. To get recuperated, so I'm, I'm I'm feeling pretty okay, but still a little bit sleepy though. But yeah, I ate a, a hecton a hecton when I came back home, and you know when you sleep when you eat a lot and you you know you didn't get a lot of sleep and you uh, just like had your blood taken, uh, it, it, you tend to be really sleepy really quick, I think. But anyways, it's fine. I can still I can still go for a little bit more. Anyways, here we go with the grab from Kohide. Gonna get that corner pressure. Goes for the grab. Oh man, and Hagiara with the awareness. Go for the aerial grab. Gonna get that wall break it with the Elysian Driver. I love Season 3, Hagum. I really do love it a lot. That being said, uh, I still uh, believe that some characters are too strong. And obviously, you probably know who I'm talking about. It's fine, it's fine, bro. Like, Happy Chaos is still a huge problem. He's even, he's even like, stronger than before, I feel. 
and it's actually very very hard to deal with them i feel but uh yeah other characters too like are really really hard to deal with in this current patch but i overall i like the new mechanics and i love the new eno as well i like i like her new move that makes it so that she can actually reset pressure which which she uh, couldn't possibly do in the uh in the second patch in the second in season two but right now she can actually do it so i'm i'm quite uh content with with uh, how Eno is specifically. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely am. You haven't played it yet? No, you should definitely should check it out. Uh, Biken got nerfed per se, but like some of her new mechanics because it's so that some of the nerfs can actually be considered a buff. From especially uh well if you if you ask Exxon, he actually likes how she is currently, so there's definitely stuff to be played around with, I feel. But yeah, Eno is really cool. I really like her in this patch. Nice grab from Hagia. It's not over till it's over. Hagia trying to bait that YRC. Oh, Lord, and wake up. No! The wake up and Tanya from Kohide takes the first round. The first match, actually. Very nicely done by Kohide. Let's see if Hagia can bring some ex 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 adjustments. Good work. Yeah, Exxon the Mad Lad. He's gonna be angry, by the way. <laughs> if she write his name like this, he's definitely going to be angry. <laughs> but I think it was made on purpose, wasn't it? <laughs> nice take right there from Aguilar. Gets hit by the standing as though. It's kind of good. He definitely is. And here we go with the new combos from Kohide and from Giovanna, man. Look at that damage, though. Aguilar with the confirms goes for the minion pressure. Mm. Created content to just take his time, wait for Hagela to not have any minion bar anymore, and then make his way. But unfortunately, got scooped right there by the illusion driver. Big damage incoming from Hagela. What is gonna be the mix? Oh lord! Oh, nice use of the freaking barrier right there from Hagela. The guard point, which uh, you can now have a free follow up if uh, you actually manage to hit. To be fair, I'm mostly hyped for Aki at the moment. Oh yeah, you're playing Street, uh, street Fighter, yeah. Yeah, I, I can understand. I understand, I understand. Anyway, you go with the... the what's it called? The, the bird, the spinning bird, not the spinning bird, the... Um, spiral arrow, I'm sorry. Okay, what is Koide going to do? Nice air grab from I got on point, but gets grabbed regardless. <laughs> Kohide loves to grab people. Ah, nice Nasante from Kohide. Gonna get a lot of damage, a lot of mileage. Not enough to kill though. Oh, nice use of the Roman cancel. Slow down, drops the combo though. Ah, nice RC. Ah, and the 6 feet for the kill. But still okay. Uh, Hagera does have his full burst and this is all that counts, really. For the new oh nice guard point gets the closest counter hit this did a ton of damage look at the damage oh good stuff from Aguera doesn't use his uh his bar in order to get the heavy knockdown though oh and gets the 2d counter hit though ah you can see Aguera trying to bait that burst creative won't give it to him no 6p that's unfortunate ah gets scooped by the standing is though Oh, and the aerial grab, the air grab by Hagela takes the freaking second match. Good stuff. Hagela on fire today, man. Is he gonna make it? Is this today? Is today the Hagela day? The day when Hagela is actually gonna win a bro drill cup? We shall see. That would be sick, though. Uh, any thoughts on any thoughts on League of Legend game? Fighting one uh, lol your cup of yeah. LOL is not really my cup of tea. I do like, though, the animation of this game, which is very rare for a Western uh, studio, a Western fighting studio. Uh, actually managed to get animation quite right in this uh, in this game. But, you know, it's free, so I'm probably going to give it a go eventually. But I, I don't know. I, I, I really have no thoughts on the matter. Because um, I don't even really have an explanation, but... Uh, I, I don't know. I just don't know how come I have no actual opinion regarding this game. I like the animation. I like the art style. I find I find it very original. Uh, I, I understand the appeal. It doesn't necessarily appeal to me though, but I understand the appeal. And uh, I love the fact that it's free to play. 
But I don't know if I'm gonna play it. But I'm probably gonna give it a go just since it's free, and then I can give you a more educated opinion on the matter. But it seems interesting, uh, to say the least. Just don't know really if... Um, yeah, yeah, it's free, so... As long as it's free, I can always try it out. There's no, like, uh, I, I have no risk in the matter. <laughs> see, I'll see, I'll see. I'll try it out, and then I'll tell you when it comes out. Anyway, look at the conversion stage and from Koita straight into the Ventania. That being said, Hagira has two full bar of tension, so Koita needs to be... Uh, careful. Oh, Lord, a big 2D counter hit, but Hagira couldn't quite get the follow-up. Woo! That was sick! Here we go with, uh, yeah, the pressure. Koide with the emergency burst. And unfortunately for him, Hagala knew that was coming. And Hagala could punish in uh, correct fashion, actually. Hagala taking the lead 2-1. to one. Let's see how this spins out. A big whip punish right there from Hagala. Oh, Lord. Oh, huge, huge 6 speed right there from Hagala. Managed to hit Koide out of the spiral arrow. That being said, Koide and Surin do form with a optimized combo. Optimized uh, wall carry combo. He's gonna get the uh, uh, the wall break. It's not over till it's over though. Whew. Nice guard point. Yeah, I thought Koide was gonna wake up with the with the, the the overdrive again, man. With that guard point, been working so good, man. Again, relentless Koide, bro. He's not gonna get the nah, nah, not enough to kill. It's fine, it's fine. Why you wanted to get the reset? And he did. I tried to read the burst, but yeah, I get I was not gonna give it to him. But still, managed to get the kill without like without wasting any two, any any resources. Good for Hagera. Wow, big wake up burst though. And Kohide, man, using no using the Gatling to continue his uh, pressure, hitting through the minion, and then immediately Jackal for a counter hit. That being said, no, I get a why. Why did you drop your combo, bro? Oh yeah, G oh, I love Strive, man. I love this game. It's just so fun. It's just so fun. Ah, nice use of the minion to catch the back dashes from Kohide. Yeah, you can see how Gala definitely wary of. <laughs> Ah, yeah, and the deep. Oh, yeah, this is dead. Good awareness from Kohide. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Next set is going to be final set. Let's see how this pans out. We shall see. Nice 2D right there from Agata. Trying to get that knockdown. That's. Oh, Lord. Big golden burst for Kohide. <laughs> Hits the guard point yet again. Oh, here we go, the 2D. Nicely done by Hagera. Catches that bag that from Koide. Mission driver. Hagera with the positive bonus. Which is bound to open him. Some avenues for some more pressure. And man, that freaking guard point has been the bane of Koide. Hagera with a very convincing perfect. Ah, big 2D. The round start. What is Kohide gonna do? Oh Lord, Kohide forced to, yeah, forced to um, endure the pressure, man. This is the first time I see Kohide having so much trouble against Jacko. Oh no! And the freaking block on the burst attempt from Kohide and Hagala makes their way to the grand final. Well, yeah. Uh, one second. Uh, Damn it, no, this is not what I want. Oh, here we go. Good to go. Okay, anyways, here we go with the quick burst from Nage. Wants to get straight out of problems, man. Right, the burst right on wake up. Unfortunately for him, he has to pay the price of not having made the correct of the correct read gets it by the DP from Moogie and Boogie dispatching Nage in the first round but it's definitely not over till it's over the nice blocks right there from Moogie how was how wow Nago still yes of course yeah Nago still doesn't give a, a doo doo <laughs> he still does a lot of damage even though he did have received damage nerfs that being said look at Nage man with the confirms wants to keep Moogie in the bomb Oh lord, the bomb vicinity. Nice confirm from me. You're gonna get the corner carry. 
Goes for the DP and it is oh lord. I was gonna say it's mix time, but yeah. Nage definitely on point with his defensive uh knowledge. Not over till it's over. Ah, oh, trying to whiff punish. Ah oh, lord, nice bag dash right there from Mugi trying to get out of trouble. Nice 6p. Ah, still with the weight, man. It's been working pretty good for him. Okay, emergency burst right there from Mugi. Ah, Lord. Yeah, Mugi having to hold on to this. Ah, yeah, and went for the low this time around. Yeah, now when you're caught in in Nagoriyuki's uh, pressure on block, you have to guess whether he's gonna do. After a DP, you gotta guess whether he's gonna do Beyblade with his low or the follow-up DP, which is an overhead now, so it's pretty tricky, not going to lie. Ah, nice grab right there from Mugi, gonna go for the safe jump and catches the back dash with the wrist on option select. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, Lord! Nice blocks from Mugi. Wow! Hits Nage through the freaking hammer with the 6 HS, the, the, um, the, the standing HS, my bad. Here we go with the jump in. Ooh, Lord, Moogie popping the wire. She catches the bag dash with the grab. Okay, what is gonna happen? We shall see. I guess hit by the hammer. Very nice confirm from Nage. And goes for the side switch using the scarecrow. Raw DP or Beyblade. Gambling is not. That is, man, it is. Really is nice 6 p right there from Nage, recognizing that Moogie was gonna go with the standing K, which is 6 p able. <gasps> the reach from Nugi though, knowing that Monagi was gonna go for the command grab. Very nicely done by, uh, by Nugi. Okay, still not over till it's over. Nice 6 speed. Gonna get the juggle and the corner carry. Here we go with the safe jump. Goes for the close S. Noticing that Nagi nice, nice, likes to uh, jump out of uh, pressure. Uh, again with the far HS. Not too early on the... Too early on the 6p attempt right there. Okay, and here we go to blocks. Very nicely done. Ah. Oh, nice blocks. Mugi, man. Really, really struggling trying to get in. Thanks, Akuman, for passing by and see you next time, bro. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, Nagi with the, dele the delayed burst. Ah, ga. Stay by the bomb, man. Mugi was about to get hit by a lot of damage right there. But still gets hit by the 2 counter hit. Nage not out of this yet. Not quite yet. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. Mugi getting hit by the 4 HS. Nice jump in by Mugi. Unfortunately for him, it did trade. But gonna get that aerial grab. He'll go to close pressure. Try to back dash right there. Oh, good lord. Nice air grab yet again for Mugi. Gonna get the 6 HS follow up. Gonna get the 6 HS on underground. But got it by the 2S counter hit. Okay. There you go. Nice bag dash right there from Mugi. Ah, uh, trying to fish for a or for a hit box, right? There, for a hurt box. Uh, Mugi trying to work his way as as he's oh as safely as possible. <sighs> Did get hit by the by the yeah. No, you won't get the trumpet. Ah, uh, that was so unfortunate for Mugi. He did get the trumpet, but yeah. Oh, and gets the kill with the delayed Roman cancel into the jumping K. Mugi with the freaking lead two to zero. Is Nagi gonna make a comeback? We shall see. Let's see how this spins out. On to the next battle. Ah, here we go with the dive. Big 6P right there from Mugi. Both opponents trying to battle for the trumpet right there, which was hilarious. Ah, here we go with the close, two closest right in the face. Nagi smelling blood right now. Oh, and here we go with the minigame mix up. Ah, and this should do, yeah. Mugi definitely not bursting there. Obviously. Good stuff from Nage. Definitely not out of this yet. 
on to the next battle. Let's see how this spins out. Now you're trying to get that whiff punish. Oh, and that freaking delay DP. That definitely caught Nagi off guard. Uh, no 6P right there, but it is pretty hard to 6P now. With that jump in, but saved by the little Faust. Ooh, that was a huge counter hit though. And Nage with the Scarecrow teleportation into the command grab. Continues to apply regular pressure. Gonna get the fire in the wake to explode and to keep Mugi blocking. Oh, that Fukilo. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can see. Yeah, you can see Nage going in the direction of the little Faust. Wanting exactly that. The juggle. Ooh, feels to get the juggle, but gets the cross up. Mix, mix, mix. Into the follow up combo for the kill. Nage, not out of this yet, finally puts one on the board. Let's see if he will be, if he is capable of sealing the deal, or if uh, Mugi is going to take it from there on, we shall see. And on to the next battle. Big start of the round for Mugi, unfortunately got hit by- Oh wow, that was sick! Went for the follow-up with the golf club just to make sure that he doesn't get hit. Uh, or with pun or yeah, uh, punished by uh... Oh lord, that was oh that was sick, man. Moogie, yeah, Moogie losing track of how many <laughs> items not get throw and try to go for the trumpet, but oh big jump in. Ah, uh, too far to get the follow up. Oh, goes for the baby late and still gets hit by the bomb. Though, Ooh, here we go with the wake up DP and yeah, Nage not committing to any attack on wake up. Manages to get the punish with a um, with an overdrive of his own. And here we go with the uh, low K for the kill. Nage looking pretty good right now, working on a comeback actually. But Mugi is definitely no slouch. Definitely needs to be careful. Oh. Look. No conversion off of it, but it's still fine. He's gonna get the uh, juggle. Straight into the tap dust, into you are dead. Goodbye. Kaboom. Good stuff from Mugi gets with the perfect, too. And on to the final round. This is potentially match point if, uh, if Mugi manages to seal the deal. Uh oh. Wow, the delayed wild assault is definitely catching Mugi off guard. We go with uh, the hammer time. Oh lord, almost got the juggle off the bomb. That would have been sick. Goes for the bite. This is looking pretty bleak for Nage, not gonna lie. Oh, and this should do. This should do. Mugi eliminated Nage out of the tournament. Very nicely done. Takes it 3 to 2 to 1, actually. Very nicely done. Um, streaming till pretty late since we had a lot of very long matches. But it's fine, I like it. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna go get a uh, glass of water. I'll be right back. Just as I come back, things are looking pretty bleak for uh, for Mugi. Then again, it is only the first uh, the first match. Ah, oh, Paisley san, arigato gozaimasu. Cheers to you, thank you. Honnani arigato gozaimasu. Domo desu. And here we go with the oh lord. And here we go with Daru's favorite theme, the Midnight Carnival. Let's go. Too bad that we don't have any Eno players in the tournament, though. <laughs> But it's fine, here we go with Boogie with the wall break. Yeah, this spins out from there. And Boogie trying to keep the pressure going. Gonna get that first, that second round actually. Let's see if he can seal the deal or if Kohide is going to take it from him. Kohide immediately forcing me to pop the burst. Here we go with the corner pressure. Oh lord, here we go the golden burst. Kohide the golden boy after all. 
Nice stuff for Emu. Yo, yeah. oh, go for the Beyblade and the 6HS counter hit. Almost got the jump in though. Very nice use of the Wild Assault right there from Kohide to get the extension station into the Ventania for a... Uh, what's it called? A um, car knockdown. Oh, goes for the Puente, man. But Mugi, of course, on point, knows when not to press and when to press. Kohide. Oh, no, 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 not like this. Yeah, of course. Oh, but still. But still, still fun Kohide hat. Oh, Lord. The big wild assault right in the midst of nice grab from Mugi. That was sick. Goes for the freaking bite. That was completely sick. Nagesan, arigatou gozaimasu. Raid shite itadaki, arigatou gozaimasu. De, eto, kyo, o tsukai sama deshita. Mata kikai gareba, zehi, yoroshiku onegashimasu. And here we go with the Beyblade. And Koide forced to pop the burst. Goes right back immediately in Mugi's face. Using all sorts of Puente setups in order to keep the pressure going. Goes for the safe drop into the grab. Ah, poroshite itadaki, arigatou gozaimasu. Sublime, sublime, Aiko-san. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. And here we go with uh, the wall break for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide. It's definitely not out of this yet. Let's see how this pans out. Big 6P round start from Mugi. Gonna get the wall carry. Now oh, carry the close S and it's back to minigame time. So Mugi not committing too much to the minigame though. Gets the Beyblade. Very nicely done. Goes for the 6HS again. No 6P this time around. Ah, uh, Koide trying to beat that burst though. Goes for the grab instead. Lord, oh, big. You yeah, gonna get hit by the aerial overdrive though. This is unfortunate. And here we go with the wall break. What is gonna be the mix? Oh, save jump. This is definitely not gonna hit. Ah, but you can see yeah, Koide committing to jumping right after. She had the burst though. Oh, big 6P. Are you serious? Mugi 6 p and right in the onslaught of Kohide who was a little bit too... Yeah, probably spaced his... Uh, spaced his... Ah, no 6 p big 6 p I lied. Yeah, ah, this time around Kohide going straight in front for the assault and not jumping. Knowing that Mugi is really on point when it comes to uh, entiring him. Okay, this time around... Ah, still with the hard knockdown. Try to catch the back dash. No, no punish there, but he's got the freaking Beyblade to catch the bag dash. Wow, Mugi up 2-0, actually. Mugi is playing out of... Yeah, man, this is crazy. Up 2-0. I think it's 2-0. I forgot to update the... Um, I forgot to update the, um, the leaderboard. Ah, uh, yeah, you cannot punish this anymore. Big 6 HS. For real, Mugi is making some really good descent. Definitely, man. He's definitely playing out of his mind. You cannot anti this dude. Wow! The jumping cross-up, uh, jumping uh, K, and picks the enemy back with the close S on his way down. Unfortunately, missed time the 6HS right there, but has the benefit of having the blood explosion and standing, standing HS for the kill, knowing that Kohida would not stay in place, man. This is a set point. Is Mugi going to make it? Sending Kohide out of the tournament, a clean 3 to nil. we shall see. And that is crazy, man. Mugi playing out of his freaking mind, man. But Kohide is no slouch. This might be the end. This might be the end. Oh, and it is the 6 HS on the ground for the kill. Kohide, this is a final match of the night. Hayala, Jacko, winner side versus Mugi. Uh, Mugi Nagoriyuki, loser side, let's see who takes it all today, we shall see. Nice serve the round by Mugi, immediately forcing Hagara to pop the burst. Wow. And vice and versa, Hagara with punishing that 6 HS attempt. A little bit too far to get it though for Mugi, that was unfortunate for him. Nice use of the target combo right there. Uh, it's not over to so, Trying to force Hagara to press a button. Oh lord! And I gotta win the cross. Well, actually, the uh, empty low. Oh no! The 2k actually. Uh, we might have a blood explosion. No, we don't. Saved by the bell, but then again, Mugi is getting pummeled right now. First round goes to Hagara. Very nicely done. Let's see if 
Hagira can seal the deal, or if Mugi is going to... Ooh! Oh no! Don't hit them! Oh no, Mugi! And yeah, as you can see, yeah, unfortunate for Hagira. Uh, well, unfortunate, but I kind of understand the, um, the reasoning behind this is that... So, when Jackal, I told it, I said it earlier, but... When Jacko uses the Wild Assault, she loses every minion that is on the screen. And this is probably to prevent Jacko from uh, having this corner positioning where the opponent is waiting, waiting, waiting to get... Um, uh, where, where she's in a position where she has full burst. The opponent is about to get burst, but she uses Wild Assault to prevent the opponent from having this defensive option. And also all the while having all of these minions all around the opponent. Like, it would make crazy, crazy situation for Jackal where she just can probably, probably, I, th I say really probably, uh, loop into, like, endless amounts of, uh, of, of pressure. So I kind of understand the reasoning behind the developers not wanting her to conserve her uh, minions if she uses Wild Assault. I kind of understand the reasoning behind it. Because imagine you're fighting Jackal. You're in the corner, Jackal has full burst. She has full bar of tension. You're basically you're f Like you're, you're gonna die. You're gonna die whether you like it or not. She's gonna chip you to death. And she's gonna prevent you to to burst. She's gonna do all sorts of very very strong stuff to you. So yeah, I understand the reasoning. I understand it. And that being said, already first match goes to Mugi, man. Mugi working on making a comeback. Is, are we gonna see a reset? I feel like we're gonna see a reset today. Mugi is just too freaking on point today. Just too freaking on point. I definitely think he is. Yeah, you see, yeah. I, I say some sensible stuff sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> and here's Rigo with the jump in by Mugi. Bye bye, Hagera. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Hagera with the corner positioning, trying to get Mugi to press a button. Ah, uh, Mugi finding the optimal timing to press a button to get out of the corner. Let's see how this spins out. Nope, no one here. Ah, uh, Hagera getting hit by the Beyblade, unfortunately for him. And this should... No! Mugi tried to do the 6HS for sure. But unfortunately got the uh, the 5HS right there. That was unfortunate for him. Ah, uh, big close S counter hit. This should do. Yeah, Hagera definitely not out of this yet. Let's see if he can seal the deal. We shall see. Oh, Lord, and the Beyblade, man. Right after the... Uh, Right after the trade, Mugi with the awareness. Oh lord. Wow. Ah, nice whiff on it right there on the Beyblade. Again, Hagera with the empty low. Definitely doing a number on Mugi with this one. Uh, okay, what is Mugi going to do? Mugi having to deal with uh, the minions. Okay, it's time to take a minion out. Oh, big 2 just counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Big damage time. Yeah, a little bit too high to get the uh, Wild Assault, I, I wager. Oh, nice air to grab. Man, that was sick. Good stuff from Moogie. Gets the kill. Moogie, man, working on the comeback. Ah, that big back Fuchio into the Beyblade. Definitely caught Hagiara off guard. But Hagiara with the back, that's very nicely done. Ah, uh, forces Moogie to pop the burst. No! Oh! I thought she got hit. That would have been shit. Oh, big 5H has counter hit. Too far to get the juggle though. Ah, nice stuff from Hagera. And Hagera with the corner positioning. Ah, gonna get the quick tap dust into the Elysian driver for the kill. Good stuff. Okay, Hagera definitely not out of this here because Hagera also is very, very, very on point today. Not going to lie. Good stuff from Hagera. Let's see how this pans out. One second down. One second. Ah, eh? uh, big counter hit for Mugi. Gonna get the corner positioning though. And here we go with the. Ah, uh, the mixes are real. Mugi finds the opening with the overhead. Good stuff. Mugi's air grabs, man. Yeah, earlier against Nagi, almost every air grab was on. Wow, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, Mugi is really, really on point when it comes to anti airing in general. Oh, big, big, big minion throw. Trying to get the momentum back, but man, Mugi is just too much. Look at this. 
And almost got the kill. Yo, that was... That was really close. Oh, and big DP round start. Uh, big DP post wall, wall break start, man. That did a lot of the... Well, that killed, actually. We are one point away from a grand final bracket reset. Is Hageta going to be able to contain that storm that is... That is Moogie, man. Ah, nice air right there from Hagera. Nice air grab, too. Here we go. Hagera also on point with the air grabs. Unfortunately, gets hit by the second hit of the target combo. Okay. Oh, almost got the freaking conversion, but no. Moogie just pressing every button in the book. He doesn't care. I don't care. I want that. I want the bracket reset. That's what he's saying right now. Okay, nice. Far hit from Moogie, gonna get that juggle into the 6 HS for the kill. Conserving his, uh, what's it called, the, um, the, the burst gauge. Wow! Goes for the Wild Assault, which is a, uh, a guard break. The guard crush, not guard break. And again, Moogie, man, with the 2S sending HS is doing very good. Finally gets jumped in, man. But still presses but Ooh, I do not agree with this. Yeah. Nice punish right there from Hagen. Wow. Well, this is the the punish he could get the best, yeah. And he was not over till it's over. Yeah, how you gotta content. Ah, oh, and just like this, man. Just like this. Boogie resetting the brackets. The opponent are now in the loser's bracket. The one who wins this set wins it all. And Moogie definitely looks very, very good today. I gotta definitely need something to, to change in his gameplay or his strategy because it's probably not working very good for now. Okay, nice with fun. Ooh, I'll get I gotta try. Ooh, finally gets the guard point. Still, maybe just dispatching them. Yeah, just dispatching them with so much ease. Ah, uh, no! Still fine. Ah, uh, Moogie with the gold burst. And here we go with uh, the target combo into the wall break. Ooh, I thought he was gonna burst. Uh, he was gonna blood burst. Blood explode. It's still not over though. Hagera is one mix up in the corner away to get a kill. Ah, uh, yeah. Wants to keep the corner positioning. And gets the kill with the grab. I got not out of this yet at all. On to the next round. Very nice use of the guard point yet again. And here we go with the quarter carry. And we're having to hold on to it. You have to hold it, you have to hold it. Ah, oh, good lord. Good stuff from Mugi. Ah, oh, tried to go for the bite, but no. Hagera sniffed it out and managed to get the side switch as well. Which means that Moogie has to hold this corner pressure. No bars there. And here we go back to the neutral. Nice use of the Beyblade. Uh, Moogie investing some tension bar as well. To try to keep the pressure on. But unfortunately that was way too much for him. And Hayala takes the first round. The first match. Right? On to the next battle. See how this pans out. Good lord. Woo! Nice 6p attempt right there. And Moogie, man. With the corner positioning, but Hagara not out of this yet. Gets the side switch yet again. Double Fukio tried to get the bite, but too far. Yeah, this Grand is pretty good, not gonna lie. Hagara seems to have found his rhythm too. Seems to have adapted quite well. He definitely has the, the momentum right now. Oh man, that chick, man, on the Fukio. Oh yeah, taking a pretty neat uh, um, lead. Right now, one match, one round. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, he's definitely definitely checking them advances with uh, with the 2k. Nice jump in by Aguera. Gonna go for the cross up. Ah, big 6 HS. This around, Mugi was the one to check the advancements. So using the 2s, go straight into the Wasuri. Yes, watch it again. Finally, Moogie putting one round on the board. After the reset, that is. And.
That was a six six uh eight, six p into the 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 what's called the um neither. The DP, that was really nicely done by Mungi, but yeah, Ayala is really just too much right now. Ah, again, man, with the target combo to dispatch not only the uh, the minion, but also uh, the one in the back, Jacko in the back. Uh oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was nicely done by Hagiara. He's able to. Uh... Oh, Lord! Oh, no! And he made it the first! Moogie with the awareness, man! That was sick stuff! Good stuff from Moogie gets the kill using Roman Cancel to bait the burst from Hagia. That was sick. Good stuff from Moogie. Okay, ah, uh, yeah. The minion is still on deck. Wow, using the closest to. That was pretty insane, not gonna lie. <laughs> Good lord. Nice for HS. Dispatches the minion. Ah, a little bit too close this time around. Again with the double guard point. Ah, nice grab. Moogie's in. Tried to go for the bite, but Hagiara was definitely wary of it. No! Hagiara, man. Ah, forces the yellow room and cancel. Ah, man, that far chest, though. Nice 6 HP, uh, nice 6, six P from him. I gotta go straight into Illusion Driver. This should help him seal this first round. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. On to the second round. And Moogie with the counter at Beyblade goes into big damage right there. Oh, uses the guard break, the Wild Assault guard break. Into the Fuki, into the grab. It's a mix up time again with the grab. Yeah, this should. Ah. Not enough to kill though. One, yeah. Perfect for Moogie. Damn, that's quite the statement. That being said, Moogie has no burst gauge, which is pretty bad for him. Does find the opening. Ah. Hagiara being a little bit too hasty on his uh on his running's attempt. Oh, it does get the hit with the uh the back position minion. Oh lord! Okay, no full punish right there from Hagara. Ah, uh, goes for the aerial attempt to the aerial, uh, the aerial route. Now nah, still gonna get hit by the target combo. Mugi one hit away from getting a clear, uh, a clear lead, and gets it with the far S. Blessed be the far S. Mugi one more point away for getting the win for today's 91st. Rojo Cup online tournament. Let's see if he's, if he's capable of sealing the deal. We shall see. Good lord. And here we go with the 5S, the 5HS counter hit for Mugie. Trying to bring Hagar in the corner using the DP right after the Fukio to dispatch that minion, the Pisky minion. Uh, and here we go. Oh lord. The double barrier. Again with the barrier. I got definitely learning uh, all of the really intricacies of using the guard point because you can see that he's been using them way more actively than he did at the beginning of the of the tournament. Still gets hit by the wild assault, man. It went so freaking far. Oh, the cojones on high yeah, goes straight into Elysian Driver. It's okay, he still has one more bar to extend the combo if it doesn't kill. But it's still fine. I get not out of this yet. Let's see how this spins out. Big confirmer there from Moogie. Gonna get the wall break? Yes, he will. Moogie definitely wanting to finish this right here, right now. Does not want to go into another set. Go straight for the Wasude Yuki. Boom! Get out of here, missions. Bye bye. One more mix is all that is needed for Mugi to get it. Try to go for the grab. The bite, actually. Ah, he's now surrounded. Oh, big freaking counter hit right there for Mugi. Ah, Mugi, afraid of the guard point. Unfortunately for him, he's going to get hit by the Elysian Driver. He does have two bars of tension and a full bar of burst, so... It's definitely not looking bleak for him. Oh, that is not gonna hit her. Yeah. 
Oh, but it's... Oh, Lord. That's unfortunate for Ayala. Getting his back dash scooped by the heat standing is. Okay, we're on tournament point. If Mugi wins this one, it is over for Ayala. And Mugi will be the winner. Things are looking pretty good for him. Oh, but that being said, I get up with the fast 2D, man. Faster than whatever Mugi pressed after the clash. And it's minion time. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Nice wall break right there from Hagala. He needs one more hit, but Mugi needs only one as well. Maybe not. But oh, goes for the bite. This is looking very bad. This is looking very bad. Oh, no. Uh, this is looking very bad. Uh -oh. oh, no. And Mugi fakes the freaking burst and gets the kill. 3-2-1 after a bracket reset. <laughs>